wonder why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. The city girls ain't moved by no goddamn chameleon. He hold on no no chameleon. He hold no Carisha, not chameleon. And I ain't got nothing against Chameleon, but I don't know no hoe <laughs> in the city of my Atlanta that's got moves by her okay, now. Cool. Chameleon do a lot of shit. She on her shit, but don't try to make it like she just influenced Miami culture. That's not true. Thank Chameleon you. is influenced by the Miami culture. That's, I mean, that's what it is. You making it like she influenced Miami. Don't do that now. Y'all stop giving all these people from not from Miami credit for what Miami is. Yeah, but you put work in in Miami. It's like you like Tupac. You came from New York to Miami and you did your thug thing here. Like how Tupac did in the West. Yes. You put your work in. You paid your dues. You fucked enough niggas. You got enough money. You slid down enough poles. If a bitch ain't did it, put in enough work in these day County streets, <laughs> she cannot be calling her motherfucking self no goddamn motherfucking pioneer of uh sit let's leave that alone because now you making me you 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 it's aggravating and Tip. agitating my spirit. Tip. You agitating my spirit. Tip. Tip. You agitating my Tip. spirit. Say hi to the winos. We record. Say hi to the winos. To the winos, to my viewers. No, because I want the winos to know. <laughs> Let me just say this. I don't got nothing against Camille. That's my friend. I love her. Okay. It was what Tip said. Tip said, like, oh, Chameleon, like. Like, but, okay, well, I was you can't say that. No, listen. She in Florida. Say Florida. <laughs> say Florida. Chameleon is still like growing and new. Like yeah, she, she, really she, she got. You can't be mentioning Chameleon and Trina. Right. <laughs> what do you mean, girl? Yeah. Trina, twenty something years in. Trina, what? She, she what? I love she Chameleon. Oh, yeah. Chameleon had them goddamn skirt on with that ass out that that thing made me want to get behind her and do the doodle brown. I fuck with her. I ain't saying it in a bad way, being like down playing her. I'm that. saying it yeah. as girl, don't do, don't do, don't do. Your teeth look nice. Who did your teeth? I did them. You did them yourself. Yeah, I had. So what I did was I took. Them. I, did them. <laughs> I know, like. <laughs> nah, really. I want to shout out the doctors who did my shit, right? Okay. Shout out the dental design. Okay. Dental design. They here in Miami. Dental design in Miami okay. got me right. Hey, let me tell you something. Now, I, I, you know, I'm not hitting on him or nothing like that. But there's nothing more attractive than a black man. Bye, Tip. Bye Love tip you. That was my, that was Miami Tip on the Facetime with uh, Chaotic. Interrupting my spirit. Look, <laughs> but I want to tell every black man this: there's nothing more attractive than dark skin with some white ass nice teeth. Okay, so y'all got to do that more. Now, listen, the gold face to me is over. The diamond face to me is over. We want some white. We want some pearly white. And it makes you look that. educated. It don't no, matter how many tats. That. It don't, it don't yeah. matter how many tats, how many, you know, chains and stuff you no, wear. Yeah. You, you look and you, you 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 look more educated and stuff like that. Yeah. Not to say that you're not educated, no, no, but, you're right. you know, but you know, they already had this perception of like black Facts. men with tats and gold teeth and chains and stuff like that. So I would say that me taking out my goals and getting my teeth done was probably one of the best things I ever did in my life. Mm. You How long did you have them? I had goals for 20 years. Damn. Yeah, I had goals since I was a teenager. You know, I'm in my mid-30s. So <clears throat> I had goals since I was in high school, since a kid, t since a teenager. And they didn't all, come out. They were permanent. I had permanence. Oh, shit. So I had goals for probably almost 20 years, 18, 19 years Did you years have of my a lot life. of decay and stuff underneath? Or? Uh, no, because really what people fail to realize is when you put the goals in, like it's a cement that's over your teeth. So it's not like your teeth is rotting away okay. or whatever. It's just that they're not going to be as beautiful as they as they was. When they take them off. When they take them off, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the veneers. That, yeah. You know, we got to get them done every 10, 20 years, depending yeah. on the type you do. And, exactly. Uh, I had I had these because, I, you know, I got my teeth done too, right? Yeah. And so the first and yours set, are beautiful. Thank you, thank you. The first Very. set that I didn't like them, so they had to, you know, take Redo them off. Them. And I was like, ah, 
put it back on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you I see the like shark like teeth right up under there. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right. I look like Ratatouille. Shit, I'm yeah. like that today. But listen, we got chaotic in, in the wine cellar. Yeah, we but in the you wine don't drink cellar. no wine. I'm in the wine cellar and I don't drink no wine. Okay, you said the only thing you drink is water. Yeah, I don't drink no wine, no liquor, no nothing. Okay, no lean, no nothing. Okay, I'm actually drug free. I don't use no drugs neither. Damn. So people in the world think like he got to be high, he got to be on pills, he got to be on liquor because your my personality, personality is so big. Yeah, but yeah, no, nah, all, all I be on is water, y'all. That's yeah. it. That's water. That's yeah. it. Y'all gotta stop that. You know what I'm saying? People naturally have energy. Yeah. You know and what I don't saying? sparkle my water neither. I like my water still. Okay, we're water. gonna bring some more of that in there for you because you almost done. Let me text Chelsea. Yeah, because I worked out this morning, so like you need a lot of this water. Little, this you, little you thing supposed to right be drinking here. a gallon a day. Exactly, and that's what I do. Okay, so you drink a gallon a day. Uh, of course. Okay, cool. You be I pissing. run two miles a day. I drink a gallon of water a day. Okay. I exercise every day. Like okay. you know, I eat good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, it look nice. You can tell, like in, in studio. Like I don't think uh, the reality TV does you justice as far as your looks. Okay, so watch this. Yes. When I when I started reality TV, right? Okay. That was 2018. I only did one episode of Love and Hip Hop Miami. Mm. That's it, and that was 2018. And uh, when I first came on there, I was. Because I stopped drinking and shit in 2018. I actually stopped drinking in the middle of filming. So when I first came on there, like, you know, the TV look how I look now. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't as healthy as I am now. I wasn't cut. working out. You I wasn't cut. cut. I wasn't yeah. who I am right now. Okay. So at that time, yeah, I, I totally looked different from then. You know what I'm saying? And then, like you say, once I took out them goals, when you get your teeth done, it just make your whole face look different. Yeah. So my glow different just because of my smile. Look, but, yeah. he said his glove different. Come on in, Chelsea. Come on in. Come on in, Chelsea. I told her to bring some water. Chelsea, a fine motherfucker. <laughs> can we cuss on you? Yes, you can do it. Chelsea, you one cuss. fine motherfucker. Listen. Chelsea. <laughs> listen. Bring your ass on I'll, in here. Listen, how many baby mamas you got? None. I don't got no kids. Oh, okay. I'm a good cat. What you shoot? You shoot blanks or something? No, nah, you know? I, I had. So, I'm going to tell you. You can't. You can't. Don't play with the Chelsea, bottom. Chelsea, give me two of them. You just leave all three on. Okay. Chelsea, you one fine motherfucker. You know that, baby? Yeah, that's Just say thank you. Just say thank you. Thank you. Okay, there you go. All right, now close the door. You got to teach some manners these days. You know, you gave her a compliment. Yeah. You got to say thank you. No, but so, you know what she was going to okay. say, what, the, uh, what all the girls say. Well, that's what they all say. <laughs> okay, baby, I ain't there, y'all. You letting me know you got a lot of niggas. <laughs> it's okay. Why don't you have a podcast? Well, I don't have a podcast. I mean, I got I, first of all, I be having so much stuff going on. Okay, I haven't had time to actually sit down and ignite a podcast. That's first. Then second, like I haven't thought of a like I haven't thought of a theme okay. for my podcast. You don't need a theme. Like I didn't like you see how you got the wine cellar. Like yeah. I don't know how I'm. I my mind be racing so much. Then, but it evolved. You just get a mic. You get a room. And then you just go. But I like, think I'm that, a, that I think I want a partner. You don't need a partner. A lot of people think they need a partner to bounce off of. You don't need a partner. I could do this whole yeah, podcast no, you by myself. You ain't got no partner. Yeah. No, I could do this. I do this whole podcast by myself. Now I have guests, of course. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Because it, then the platform is is for you. Right. Um. But for the most part, no talkative, like free spirited, very energetic personality such as yourself need a space. And, and you have great, great energy. So like, right. I can really see Thank you. you. Owning the hip hop space. No, I'm, I mean, don't get it twisted. It's on the table. I'm figuring it. Out. I actually got a production company that I'm I'm starting. So okay. I got I got like some partners. We got to have a meeting on Friday that I'm bringing in with the cameras and the whole nine okay. yards to where I want because I want to do podcasts. I want to do film and I want to. It's so much stuff I yeah. want to do with my personality. It's just like so much. Okay, I'm just trying to balance it all out because I still do music. You know, I'm still in the TV world doing mm -hmm. shows. So it's like, right now I'm on like three shows. Like, I just finished filming one, and then we, f I'm still what filming What shows are another. you on besides Love So, so, okay, I'm, I'm going to get, let me, let me, let's, let's get into it, right? Yes. I want you to do your proper introduction, because there's not a lot of information on the internet about you, except for what Love & Hip Hop Miami 
and Atlanta okay. has filmed. Okay. So, you know, they'll try to do these little fandom pages to kind yeah. of get some background. I think the most we hear, they've tried to really just kind of highlight was you get, being shot. We're going to talk about that. Right. But, like, what what is your scope of work? Because, like, you are a... I'm not lying to you. Uh -huh. There's a lot of rappers that sit here, and I don't tell them this. Right. You are a dope-ass fucking rapper. Thank you. I've seen you spit. When I saw you spitting on your YouTube channel, yeah. were you sitting on the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> and and your friend, I, I think the producer yeah, yeah. had the air freshener, yeah. and you was just wrapping your ass. We just off. Start, we just started. I, I actually just started doing those probably about uh, uh probably about two weeks ago. But um, so I'm I'm like a um I'm an artist. Okay. I'm a um I'm a writer. Okay. I'm a, I write for others and myself. I'm a producer. I produce for others and myself. Um. I'm a big personality. We know I'm a TV star. Um, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a philanthropist. Okay. I'm a child of God. I'm just a whole bunch of shit. You okay. feel what I'm saying? I, I I'm like a, I'm like a motivational speaker because I just motivate motherfuckers every day, all day. Mm -hmm. Shit talker, like you know what I'm saying. So I do a lot, and um, I, I just feel like they don't like I don't get the props that I deserve. You know what I'm saying? For the work that I put in. Because I put in, I, I work harder than a lot of motherfuckers. Like, all these niggas got deals and labels behind them. And yeah. They got multi-million dollar rappers with all the relevancy in the world. And they still ain't not working me. I'm still running neck, the neck, the neck now, with now them. Now, do you write for women and men? Of course. Okay. Definitely. I write for women, now, men, R&B singers, rappers, the whole nine yards. Are you truly under the term ghostwriter, like, which means you sign NDAs, you can't tell with some people, who you writing for? With some people. With majority of the people, like, in the game that I, I've worked with, like, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But some people, like, like I work with Saucy Santana. I, like, we, we got a record coming out. Okay. Like, I'm not, I didn't, we didn't do a gag order. Um, I work with Paul. Call it a gag order. Yeah, I, I work with Paulina Rubio. Okay. Uh, like she liked the Madonna in the Latin world on a whole Spanish okay. record. I've heard of her. Yeah, I did a whole Spanish record with her. Oh. Okay. And I got like ten percent on that record. And I and I didn't even know Spanish, but I was just in the studio with him, and I um, I came up with a melody, and I and I and I knew like one Spanish word, and I start uh saying that Spanish word and the melody yeah. over and over, and they was like, that's it. <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, that's it. Keep going. I'm like, okay. Oh, wow. And boom, we turned that into a whole record. So um, I worked with her. Uh, I worked with a lot of, like, independent artists. Some of the other female artists that I worked with, uh, unfortunately, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, okay. They want to keep, they they want they want to be known as. Oh, we know. They own writers. We know. So I don't speak on them. <laughs> okay. Um, And then I've I worked with a lot of, I worked with everybody from, if you got a budget, I'm working with you. And if your budget makes sense to me, I'm working with you. So I work with a lot of independent artists, um, to like a lot of artists that's in the game. And okay. then I and then I've I've like got artists. Like I got an artist named Lil Juvie that I got her and I built her catalog and took her and did a deal with Rap a lot and Mob Ties. Shout out to Mob Ties okay. and Jay Prince Jr. them. And I got her a deal with them. And then um I was a part of the deal with, you know, Ferrari Fred. Yes. And and wife and Lucci, yeah. I was a part of that situation, put like behind the scenes, helping that situation get put together. Okay. And I did a deal with some artists with Trina too. These three girls, they had a, a group called Zam. So it's just like a lot of shit. Like I just be like doing a lot of dope shit, but I don't really speak. Like I don't really too much like pop shit about it. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, cause it, for me, it just be more about the bag and the, and and seeing somebody level up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. helping a person and making a bag be for me. Like now, listen, I, I because I bragged about how well you rap. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. Like your 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 skills. They don't. I don't see rappers. Uh -huh. It's very. It's a very small pool. Before they spit that they spit in bars. Yes, yeah, it's they a very with no bars. small pool. And I was just like, you sitting on the toilet? Not that were you really like? No, nah, I on the toilet? Was, like so. I'm sitting on the toilet. You wasn't shitting. But I, no, I am shitting. You were I'm shit. shit verbally shitting on oh, niggas. Okay, That's why I'm sitting it. on the toilet because okay. I'm shitting on all these rappers. I'm shitting on every last one of these you, niggas. You mind spitting something in the wine cellar real quick? <laughs> you mind freestyling? <laughs> Go on now. I mean, I freestyle. You got. I want you to pull me up a track because I freestyle. I don't write. Can you freestyle without a track? 
Can I freestyle a lot of track? Yes. I think I can freestyle okay. a lot of track. But it won't feel as, as yes, good it as will. it won't feel as good as if I have a track on. You, know what you what okay, saying? you got a un- you got a uh, unlicensed track that you can play right now? Oh your phone? Uh, 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 unlicensed track like a yeah, uh, like something like that's a not like beat. Yeah, like a personal She beat. want me to really do it. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah, but we're making people watching you. Come on, you huh? want me to yeah. Really do it. I, I, I need them to see this because I'm like, when I heard you rap, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was wow. just like, <laughs> in love and hip hop, want to focus on you just eating pussy the entire time, or or oh uh, no, see, but that's the thing, like, loving hip hop. It's about, you know, they give you the platform for your music, but it's not really, it's not, everybody that watches the show know it's not mo- mainly of breaking the artist as a as an artist yeah. of, of music. Loving hip hop is more from a thing of, these is people of hip hop that's that has love. You understand what I'm saying? So it's yeah. not about really breaking an artist or breaking a record. Yeah, It's more about you being a person that's in the hip hop world or in the hip hop community that's in love or got whatever drama or whatever you got going yeah. on in your life. So okay. the objective isn't to like break an artist, but they do shine light on your music. I ain't going to sit here and say like they won't shine light on your music, but I feel like when people's happy and they're looking at love and hip hop, they're not really taking the music serious because they're not there for the hip hop. Mm. The people that's tapping in the love and hip hop ain't there to tap in for the hip hop side of things. They there to tap in for the drama and to be in your business and see who's gonna throw a drink at who or who gonna talk shit about who. So it's like that's why I try. That's why me my role on the, I, it's like I try to change the narrative. I just be on there really like pushing my personality and telling my story more than anything. You feel what I'm saying? Let's talk about your story then. Since you, he, he ain't rapping for us right now. No, I'm going to rap. I'm going to rap. I'm going to give y'all the freestyle at the end. I'm going to give y'all the freestyle before it's all over. Okay, cool. I'm cool. definitely going to give y'all okay, the freestyle. Okay, cool, cool. You know how, can you turn it off? Like, yeah, you just I'm put it on silent? Yeah, that one. Dog, stop calling my fucking phone. I'm doing a whole goddamn interview right now, man. Jesus. What? You're not supposed to fly you. No, wait, bro. I told you we're going to talk about this after the fact. Please let me do my interview. It's always something. Bye, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally I apologize. need that as a voice note when people call me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just go right to the voicemail. Please stop calling me. I'm trying to do my interview. Because oh, that's shit. really what I'm doing. Oh, shit, that is I may true. take that voice note. I got you. I give you, you got that. I, I give you the permission. Okay, but I give you the permission for that. And then I send the voicemail. That's what they go here. Didn't I tell you? Please it. stop calling I'm me. Doing the so I'm like, should I need that for my damn mom? Um... But anyway, so... Let's talk about your story real quick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we hear that you, I mean, you were shot like, what, 18, 19 times? 17 times. 17 times, as a total. Yeah, as a total. So the first time I was shot, I was shot 15 times. And then the second time I was shot, I was shot twice. Okay. But it was- How old were you? So the first time when I was shot, when I was shot 15 times, I was 25. Um, But it was just like, before that, it was like- I, it was a it was a time in my life where I was it was like a lot of violence in my life. You understand okay. what I'm saying? A lot of shooting, a lot of intent to take my life. You know, at mm-hmm. one because at one point in time I wasn't this fun, happy, um, prolific individual that everybody see. You know, I used to be a different type of person okay. at one point in time when I was more younger. You know what I'm saying? And um. Free Pitch Black, my brother, who doing 30 years in prison, my cousin, Free Big Mike, who doing 28 years, and you know, just a slew of other homies that, at one point in time, we was real reckless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, you know, you know what they say, like, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. You putting that type of energy out that there in the streets, that's what's gonna come back. Fucking true. No, I it's, am it's so for real. That you, you, you no, that's it's, that. it's, it's no real. it's no way it's no way around it. Like if you live in that life. You know what I'm saying? It's just by the grace of God, I was I was spared and I was saved because God had different plans for me. Right. If God ain't had no different plans, listen, there was several attempts on my life. I was shot those two different occasions, but shot at multiple different times. How do you listen? Let me tell you something. Seventeen bullets. I'm gonna show you something. Me and Ball Greasy used to okay. be really close friends. Okay. A lot of people don't know this. Me and Ball Greasy used to be really close friends. One time, Ball Greasy was coming to pick me up to go do a video shoot. 
He came to pick me up to go do a video shoot. As soon as we pulled out <laughs> from the driveway to go do the video shoot, the whole car got shot up. Me and Ball Greasy could have died together. The whole car got what y'all shot had the fuck up. Bulletproof. He had a bulletproof. Car no, he it was, was in? grace of God. I got grace in the shoulder. He he didn't. Ain't nothing hit him. The whole car got shot the fuck up. This was years ago. And um, after that, like, you know, the next the nigga, you know, we went our separate ways. The next day. He was like, who the fuck trying to kill you, bro? You almost got me. I'm like, nigga, who trying to kill you? We both was at a at a, at, a, at each yeah. other's neck. Like, nigga, somebody was trying to kill you. Like, nah, somebody was trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was like- So y'all I had, fell out behind that. Yeah, we fell out behind that because, you know what I'm saying, active, it was active. I had things going on. Right. And, you know what I'm saying, it was to a point where at one point in time in my life, people couldn't even, like, it was stories where I don't hang around chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Boy, you hang around him, boy, something gonna happen to your ass. Niggas used to be telling niggas because it was just that active. Like, my life was that active. But niggas don't know that side of me because I don't glorify that side. I don't even speak on I, I never even spoke on certain shit like that in an interview. Well, like, real niggas that's really in the life don't talk about street yeah, shit. Yeah, so it's like... So <laughs> you it's don't like, talk about it, so... Yeah, so it's like, when I, when, I, when I say what I say, like, I don't even try, I don't even like to even glorify and be like, oh, I was a real gangster or I like, you know how niggas say they got bodies? I got a, like, I really got a body. Like, yeah. I really killed the nigga in self-defense. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When I got shot the 15 times, I was in the abandoned apartment. I was set up. So I was set up by a female. I'm coming, I'm thinking I'm going in a house with a female, first of all. So I'm scrapped though. I got a bottle of Hennessy in this hand and my scrap on this hip. The girl like the door open, come in. As soon as I walk in that motherfucker, I'm in a pitch black, it's pitch black dog. I'm like, what the fuck? As soon as I say what the fuck, a nigga grabbed me from behind. So I that bottle fell like, immediately. That bottle, I, I got in stealth mode. That bottle fell, boom, nigga grabbed me from behind. I go straight to grab my scrap because I see a nigga coming from the hallway like he floating. This nigga looked at like the Reaper. I swear to God, this I cannot make this story up. This it, I mean, this it's is, funny, but this it's shit not is funny. the realest shit ever. I can't I mean, make this shit scared? up. Were you scared? I wasn't scared. I was in stealth mode. I okay. couldn't even. I could. I ain't had time to be scared. Okay. I see a nigga floating like he floating. It, it, listen, when I tell you, it was a bald head nigga. This motherfucker looked it like <laughs> you understand what I'm saying. Bald head, head motherfucker. All I seen was that bald head, and it, the nigga ain't even look like he was walking. He was floating. So this motherfucker floating from the hallway, coming like looking like he finna approach me. I don't see his hand. I don't even know if he got the gun in it. I don't know. All I seen was that bald head and that and that and somebody and that holding you. of him floating towards me. I don't even see the person holding me. But this is like a split second. It's not like minutes of yeah. it. In a split second, I just see that silhouette of this person. Yeah. I grab that hem off my hip because the nigga holding me like this. Yeah. So this is still movable. And I grabbed that shit, cause that the big motherfucker that was holding me wasn't even like I had a strength that I didn't even know I had. I got that motherfucker <laughs> up off me. I'm already knowing I'm active in this world, so I always kept one in the head. Yeah. I got it up, bum bum, hit that nigga twice. He fell. Soon as he fell and dropped, the nigga that was holding me let me go, and push me. Like so, when I got that push, it was just <laughs> bum 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 bum. That shit just started popping the shit out my ass. So it was another motherfucker. Your own gun. No, I got shot with my own gun too. But it was another motherfucker to the side, to the left, to my blind side, yeah. that I ain't even see over there. So when this nigga who was holding me pushed me, that's how I got shot. I got shot seven times in one leg and five times in another leg out of the out of the 15 shots. Because when a nigga who was to the side, when a nigga pushed me, the nigga who to, was to the side, he started firing shots. So, you know, it's another so he, motherfucker. He only fired low. He's trying to, yeah, because he ain't trying to, he don't want to hit nobody else. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm the only, I'm the only target in that motherfucker. So I guess, I, this is this what I'm just figuring. Yeah. He, he fought, because I ain't even, I never saw him. I just felt him. <laughs> oh, so I felt the shots. My gun flew out my hand. My gun fly out my hand. And this is all going on in the dark. In the, in the dark, in the van department at night. My gun flew out of my hand. I just feel shots everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So I, the last thing after that is like the blackout phase. When them bullets went to hit me, it was like that, that's when I that's when I felt like the out of body experience. I was no longer in my body. I was I was just I I didn't even feel the shots. It was like I wasn't even feeling the shots. It was just like I, the last thing I remember saying was like, "Okay, man, okay, man, I'm dead. I, right, I'm dead. I'm like I'm like telling the niggas, all right, that's enough. I'm dead." Yeah. And that was just the last shit. And then from there it was a blackout. And then after that, I remember for a split second when I was getting pushed through the hospital, I heard the police, like, I, I I knew it was like the police asking you, do you know who did this to you? Do you know who did this to you? That was like the, the next time I heard something and then I was blacked out again until I woke up actually, I think two days later in the hospital. Damn. So um, it was crazy, but it was a lady who found me. What's crazy is the lady that found me said she found me hanging out of the outside of the door of the apartment. This the craziest shit ever. So I basically crawled out the apartment, but I was just made it to the door. The, and I was just hanging outside of the door of the apartment. And the dude that that was coming I, like, towards you, he and he I guess he's still in there. No, apartment. the dude that was coming towards me, they grabbed him. They took him. Oh, and they left the scene. They took him with them, and they left the scene. Now, everything that else happened after that, I can't speak on. Okay. But they took him with them, and they left the scene. I thought I read they, somewhere that your shooter ended up dying anyway. Exactly. On the same floor in the hospital with me. They took him to the gas station and dropped him off on a person. Yeah, they dropped him off on a person at a gas station because they couldn't take him with him. And he ended up at the, the gas station is right outside of the apartment complex that I was shot in. And me and him was on the same fucking floor in the hospital. Died. And he died. Did they ever catch the other two? That that remains anonymous. I don't know what happened with the other two. <laughs> that, whatever happened with the other two ain't got nothing to do with me. The other two is the other two. I mean, but as you, you can see, I'm here. I'm living my life. I'm in the, every city, every state, and all my bookings. And now the fuck that ain't happening to chaotic. So, you know, in that situation, and even when I got shot the next time, that wasn't that beef didn't even have nothing to do with that beef. Okay, you know what I'm saying that yeah. that that was a different beef. When I when I got shot, but it was like like I, like by the grace of God, man. Like I say, by the grace of God, everything I went through, it's like got eliminated. Yeah, it's like it it, it got it's it's just like it all got. It, it's taken care of. It's it's no longer <laughs> it's no longer a thing. No, I'm I'm so serious. We laughing and joking, what? What? but it's no longer a thing. Who, who doing root work on these people? Man, God, God do all my eliminations. That's all I can say. God eliminate my ops. God killing my ops for me. I ain't kill nail motherfucking op. God did all my killing. God eliminate all my ops. God eliminates my ops and takes my ops out of my life. That's why I'm able. That's why I've been through so much shit. And God has eliminated all my ops. Like real nigga shit. All my ops is gone by the grace of God. And I'm not, I don't got no, I got haters. Yeah. Everybody got haters. Yeah. Everybody got people that if they see them out, they'll try to rob them or do something to them just out of hate. But I don't have no smoke with nobody. Okay. I don't got no active beef or no active smoke now, with nobody. Now, whatever happened to the female that set you up? God eliminated <laughs> all of my ops. I'm going to eliminate In the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, Muhammad, the prophet Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad, uh, uh, every prophet, Moses, Adam, Eve, and all of those people, Melchizedek, the Zeke, and like one of them and from the Revelation to the Torah and the in the in the in the in the, in the Buddhism. Every religion under the son of God rides for me when it comes to my ops. It's like I can I can summon all of the religions. I can summon all of the gods and they will take care of my ops. I'm that blessed. 
That's how blessed I am. That so is, that is pretty blessed to be surviving yeah. that many bullets. And yeah, nothing. But not even off. just not even that many bullets. That many a shootings. Th- attempts. It was multiple shoot. Like I, I I got in the song. I say every car that I own that got hit up. Like at one point in time, every car I had done got shot up. Well, you need to take an Uber. Not like that. It's not that no more. <laughs> it's nothing like that no more. At a, it was at a time in my life. From from like round, I say from around like two thousand eight, two thousand eight, all the way to like two thousand and eleven or twelve, like that phase from from like yeah. the two from the early two uh, from like the two thousand five to like from two thousand five to like two thousand eleven or twelve, shit was reckless in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then I don't like I don't beat hella chart. Like listen. If you go look, let me just show you this shit. Like, if you look at, if you look at, this is real nigga shit. Cause when I when I talk about shit, I like to pull out my receipts. Like right here it says, 25, 25 year old African American uh, male, post gunshot wounds to multiple body areas, including the face. You read it. You read the first line. That's my hospital records. When I got shot up. Now the hospital ain't gonna lie. That's the doctors who wrote that. Yeah. All right. Now let me show you the second. Let me show you the second. The second page. Um, because this is all. It's like, okay, uh, the African American male received in the emergency department status post multiple gunshot wounds to the scalp, lower back, and bilateral thighs. This is them just finding more and more. So the scalp is the head. Yeah. You got the head, the face. Do it look like I got shot in the head or in the face? No, it don't. Do it look like it? Mm. But that's what happened to me. I mean, you ain't around here trying to, you know, talk or open your mouth like and that's what And that's what happened like to me. Me so to at the mouth. end of the day, whenever, whenever, when people, like, if a person, like, th- this is real. Like, this is real. When I tell a nigga, I done got shot more than Tupac and 50 Cent put together. This is real. Like, this is real. You can't fake this. I can't make a, 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 a hospital record up. So what what made you ch- just say? I mean, was it getting shot at so many times? How did you walk away? So because so, normally you don't get to walk away from that life. So so, all right. Like before we go, all right, I'm gonna give you this. Okay. All right. So, bomb. In the process of still being shot up all of them times and going through what I was going through in the streets, I was in and out of jail also. Okay. So I don't been to prison. I got off. I had a listen. I I I had a. I had a charge, right? This is how. This is how. That's what I'm trying to show you. Let me just show you the charges. Now I'm gonna break down the charges of when I, when I'm, when I'm in, in, the, in the midst of all this happening, me going to jail. I had a charge, right? Where I had an assault with a deadly weapon, armed robbery, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Oh shit! Right, and the witness, the witness told the police, chaotic did this to me, right? Look at God. Let me just show you how good God is. He gave the people one story at the scene of a crime. He said, yeah, chaotic robbed me at this time. He shot at me at this time. Pistol whooped me like this. Did this and did that in the third. That was his initial statement to the police. Okay. We gonna go get chaotic now. Bomb. Two days later, they find me at a hotel. When they find me, they didn't even get the gun off me. They found the gun in the vending machine. Bond, they take me to jail, possession of a firearm, convicted felon, armed robbery, assault. The first court date that I had, that same witness showed up to the, to, to, to the court date. And he had to make a statement. That nigga said the opposite of everything he said in the first motherfucking um, thing. His story was different. Yeah, he robbed me, but then he shot me at this time, and he did this, and he did that. Because we was doing street shit, but he went to the police. Mm. So he the story, he was lying the whole time. What happened to him happened to him. But the reason why it happened and how it happened was totally different. Okay. So so what I'm trying to say is I said that to say this. I sat in the county jail for 17 months fighting those charges. If that nigga would have told the right story and came back to court and told the right story again, I was facing 20 to life. Yeah. 20 to life. They yeah. got the gun. I robbed the man, I shot the man, the whole nine yards. Guess what happened? When he fucked up and told us two different stories, he's no longer a credible witness. I beat the armed robbery, I beat the assault, 
And for the uh, they gave me credit time served for the possession of firearm by a convicted felon. Florida is notorious for giving credit time served because they want you to get that. They want that point. Yeah, they want them points. So I beat that. Got out, came home. Bomb back into life, still in the streets, feeling like I'm untouchable. I got jammed up again. Talking to Mike now. I gotta make sure we get. I got you jam- can, you can listen, push it up now. Push it I up. got jammed okay. up again in North Carolina. This it's an article on this one. I could I could pull up the article on this one. What you get? North Carolina shooting with the intent to kill, trafficking, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. So the trafficking chart, I had a girl with me. They put the trafficking on a girl. Okay. I'm going to see somebody, do some business with somebody. The nigga tried to rob me. Oh. I'm going to do business. He tried to rob me. He gets shot seven times. How he gets shot, God did it. <laughs> Remember, the, the people, God them. You know, when somebody tried to come for me, God shot the shit out of his ass. Bam, 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 bam. Seven times. Seven times. I try to get away. I got the girl with me. I try to get away. We riding. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I end up at the airport. How the fuck I'm going to get out of here? I get caught. Make a long story short. Look at God. The nigga, told, he had a warrant. The nigga who I, you know, who God shot had a warrant. The nigga who God shot had a warrant. He told the police a different name. He said, my name is Jason Parker. Chaotic shot me, I'm Jason Parker. So I go to jail under shooting with the intent to kill Jason Parker. When the nigga get to the hospital, I'm already, look, I'm already locked up and everything, paperwork done under Jason Parker. When they take the nigga to the hospital, they find out Jason Parker ain't his real name. They found out at the hospital that his name is Raymond Tootle. And he got warrants. And he got warrants for his arrest. <laughs> they passed his dumb ass up and brought him to the same jail I was at. <laughs> I'm in the holy cell. I see this stupid motherfucker walk up in there. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, mind you, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Till I get my paperwork to the first time a lawyer ever came and seen me. And the lawyer told me, okay, this is what's going on. I'm basically fighting charges against a person that don't even exist. exist. <laughs> Look at motherfucking God. This ain't even no joke. This real nigga shit. <laughs> So what ended up happening? You out. I beat the shit. <laughs> Where's Jason Parker now? I'm sorry. Raymond, Raymond Tool. That bitch got out and went back to jail. I don't know what the fuck Raymond Tool is. He, he know he don't want no smoke. He learned the motherfucking day. I ain't never tried to rock chaotic again because that nigga got God as his shooter. God shot his ass with some lightning bolts. Don't fucking play with me. Listen, you know what I'm saying, but I'm just saying, like you see what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like this, I would have. That was another elbow type of situation. Yeah. If that nigga would have gave them people the right name, I was over with. Mm. Mind you, I'm already a fucking super convicted felon from mm. being in and out of jail since I was 13 years old. Yeah. My my rap, shit, I'm a habitual. Like literally, I'm yeah. a hot my, my criminal now, history. You know, if you was in California, you'd be serving life right now. Exactly. My yeah. criminal history is extinct. Yeah. So it's like, I got a fucked up record already. But get what? God got a nigga back. So when that happened, and I beat that, mm. and I came home, it was just by the grace of God that I my, my one of my one of my friends, shout out to Capo, Tyree. One of my friends was in a good position in life. Where he was like when I came home, because he was holding me down while I was locked up. He was in a good position in life. And when I came home, he took me under his wing. Why well, I ain't have to come home fucked up and go crazy running the streets. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like I had, I, I was able to get myself together. And then he was like, man, you got to take this music shit serious. And that's when I started like really going hard with the music and yeah. taking the music shit serious. And then that's that, that, that same year, was was uh, 2013 when I caught my big break with the Dying Peace record, the These Holes for Everybody record. That's when mm. my music career had, like, 
bum. Yeah. Took off and, 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 and did what it did. And that's when, like, shit just got, you know what I'm saying? Shit got real good. Shit got good. I can good. tell it's good for you. I'm looking at you. You, you know, you, you're pretty bling. But you guess know? what, though? I end up going to jail again. <laughs> for what this time? You under so, the nation right, of Islam and you still in jail? So shit, listen, <laughs> our shit was good, but you know a nigga gonna yeah, be a nigga. Yeah. With, 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 with clout and fame yeah. come connections. Yeah. So I had connections on certain shit that, you know, that was illegal. Yeah, right. And I was playing with it real heavy. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm in a rap game, but I got because now I'm still a street nigga. Yeah. You can take a nigga out. How they say so you can you, take a nigga so out the ghetto, you, but you can't take the ghetto out of nigga. So you leveraging deals. Yeah, I'm leveraging <laughs> deals. I felt like I had an endorsement with goddamn the devil. <laughs> Shit, I had an endorsement with the goddamn plug. The plug endorsed me. So I'm I'm, I'm playing and, and doing my thing, back in the streets, but still doing music. Yeah. I'm touring. Yeah. I'm touring with Wild Fan Lucci, um, Black Youngster, uh, rest in peace to Young Greatness, rest in peace to Bankroll Fresh, uh, Free Rollo, uh, yeah, Free Rollo and Lucci, yeah. um, Young Schooly, uh, uh, DJ Chose, like all, that's who I came in the game with. Yeah. All those guys is yeah. who I like got my big break with. All yeah. us was touring together for two years straight. We we toured the whole country together wow. with bigger rankings. So um, I'm doing major things, but I'm. still... You know, all you know how rappers is, yeah. man. We we doing music and shit, but we still street niggas. Yeah. So I'm still in the streets, and then bam, I end up getting jammed up again. And then I had to go sit down again. I had to go sit down for like 18 months, almost 18, 19 months. Did your career take a hit? Of course, because <laughs> when that happened to me, yeah. I came in with black young like I can show like I got you know footage of all this, yeah. from videos to uh, pictures and everything. So when all of us was touring and I was at the height of my career and I'm about to catapult through the roof, fucking, I get jammed. Shit go sideways. Nigga, right when that happened, black youngster took off at Lucci shit, took all them boys, went through the roof. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And the BG, the BG with you, at that time, I was like the leading nigga. Like I was the, I was like the most popular. I was like the, the, um, what they, what they, how would they say? Like I was the one who you people would thought, the, yeah. yeah, people would have thought I would have made it further than all those guys yeah. because I had the personality, I had the music, I had the yeah. <clears throat> the wave and the movement, and all them boys took off. By the grace of God, it was a blessing for all them boys, and I salute all them boys because all them boys ain't never did nothing but show me love. That was another thing. Like when I toured with them niggas, Rollo, Lucci, them youngster, them man, them boy, it was like I was the only nigga from Florida. On a tour with a bunch of Atlanta niggas, some Memphis niggas, and shit like that. That and it was just all love. Like them niggas embraced the shit out of me. So um, I came home. Everybody, everybody, shit was through the roof. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I came home. Honestly and truthfully, I came home fucked up. The money was gone because at that time, that's when I used to drink and smoke and do everything. Yeah. I wasn't responsible with my money. Yeah. So you had to come out and start. I wasn't all responsible with that money at all. So you had to come out and start all. I had again. to start at ground one. I came out dead broke, and I'm talking about I, I probably had over a million. I was I was over a million dollars before I went in, but living and turning up and spending money, I didn't like. I spun. I I, I probably ran through one point five in a year or two. Like hanging out, living life, tricking off, fucking bitches, blowing money fast. Like I ain't give a fuck. So when I came home, I came home fucked up with nothing and nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody. Done, How long did it take you to get back home? Shit, three months. Three months. Let me tell you what happened. I came home. That's the fa fastest come up I've ever. Heard. Let me tell you what happened. I came home. And when I got home, I was like, damn, how the fuck am I finna get my life back in order? You know who it was? Who? That You know who it was that, that God showed me? Who? My bro, DC Young Fly. Shout out to DC Young Fly. Okay, okay. I seen DC Young Fly uh, on Instagram mm -hmm. doing the skits, doing the... Yep. I seen how he was capitalizing I off Instagram. I watched his whole come up. Yeah, From so... From the projects <laughs> to the stage. Yeah, so yeah. When, when he went... I'm like, damn, this nigga DC done went up on this Instagram yeah. shit. Like, crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Shit, I might not got no money, but I got a cell phone. 
And I had my one best friend at that time. And we just, I was like, I just had him with me every day recording videos of me talking shit. I just started putting out content on Instagram. And like that shit instantly started going up. Yeah. Like I just that's instantly. Why I said you need it for where's your fucking podcast? That's why I'm like, where's no, your, that's what I'm saying. I, I, my, my, my Instagram like yeah. literally started hitting within like a month. I don't have like three, four, five viral videos. So within like three months of just doing Instagram shit, fresh being home, loving hip hop hit me up. Okay. I was broke my first season on loving hip hop. Most of them are. I was, <laughs> listen, people don't even know. Unless I was, you like treat or trick that coming Man, I came home are, yeah. fucked up. I was broke yeah. trying to figure it out when I got on my first season of loving hip hop. I ain't had no damn money. Okay. I was scrambling trying to get myself back together, my nigga. Like, that's no bullshit. My first season of Love and Hip Hop, all I had was my story. And I and I appreciate, like, one thing I I, I can I can say, like, about Love and Hip Hop, I appreciate them for giving me the platform to tell my story. Yeah. Now, everything, how, how, how I had, the, 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 the process I had to go through to tell that motherfucker <laughs> some things I did not like. Yeah. You know, it was a lot like, of things. What, like what? I, I didn't like the fact that Okay, at first, I told these people my story, right? Mm -hmm. And they was like, okay, yeah, we like that. But they didn't follow that at first. They was trying to, like, they wanted me to more be like, because I was, but it was like me. They wanted me to more be shooting my shot at Joy. and They wanted me to more be on my love shit because they knew I had a, the biggest crush ever on Joy. Okay. So they wanted me to be more on chasing Joy and, Cause they was trying to see if they could get a reaction out of Trick Daddy. You know how this shit go. Yeah, yeah, no. But it was like, nigga, it's so much more doper shit than that to me. And I'm and I'm telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, one thing about God, with me, God don't never make no mistakes. Right while we in the middle of the film and I caught another charge. <laughs> I caught another for, motherfucking charge. For, for what? Yo, okay, so I used to self-report because they would pick you up. Okay. But I, I self-reported. And you didn't report? No, I self-report to, to, no, self-report to go film. Oh, I wasn't okay. on probation or nothing. Okay. I would okay. self-report to go film, meaning that y'all don't send me a drive. I'm going to drive to whatever the location is to film. Okay, I remember this because you did tell this story on Love & Hip Hop. So you was, you was, uh, I was driving and the unmarked police car got behind me. I ain't know it was the police. <laughs> I remember you telling that damn story. Yeah, I did. Not, I, I swear to God. Remember, yeah, you're, you you're, talking to a nigga that really suffered. You like caught up, I, you caught up and shot up out the drive through. You know, been I done been shot, shot up and set up so many times. <laughs> I remember that. Shit. My PTSD. Yes. Just, like still to this day, motherfuckers don't understand. I really got fucked up PTSD. Like no, I when I leave out, to, out the club or when I leave places, I'm, I take the proper precautionary steps. Yeah. When I'm going places, that's just in me. I can't help that. Yeah. I can't be a PNB rock. Rest in peace to my boy, man. Yeah. All love the PNB, but I can't be that. Yeah. Because I ain't going to dangle nowhere. My homeboys will tell you. <laughs> Last night they were trying to get me to go to some hood ass strip club. Come on, Kayana. I'm like, I'm not booked there. I'm not going to that shit. <laughs> Y'all niggas crazy for what? The ghost gets money to scribbles. <laughs> Bitch, I like my money. It gets set up. I, listen, <laughs> nigga, I'd rather take my money and go buy something for one of my bitches <laughs> who I'm fucking. I'd rather go buy one of my bitches. If I'm going to spend a thousand in the script, let me go spend a thousand on one of my hoes yeah. who's going to appreciate it more. <laughs> Then them scribbles, they ain't gonna appreciate it. And no disrespect to the scribbles. I love y'all, but at the same time, y'all get y'all time. They gotta check to get. Yeah, y'all gonna get y'all time with y'all time. Book me at your script club and I'm coming. And then you'll get my money. But I'm not just coming there just to uh, volunteer right, and give it away. Murder. All right, little murder. Look. Yeah, no, don't call me no damn little murder. <laughs> oh, God. I just, oh, when you say Lil Murder, that shit make my stomach we turn. We talking about the sexuality now. No, but when you say Lil Murder, that's all I can think about when Lil Murder was laying on that bed and Murder say, no, put it in me. I'm like, no, Murder, not in you. 
can't do it. Don't put it in murder, Uncle Clifford. Uncle Clifford say, come on here, boy. I got you. Come on here. Oh, shit. Love me. I had to turn the TV off. Boom. I say, I ain't watching no more P Valley. I cannot watch P. That shit traumatized me. I just hate now that the TV shows are focusing more on LGBTQ relationships. They like the hell with the heterosexuals. Like, let's yeah. give us some scenes, too. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Y'all make and it I, seem and like heterosexuals don't have sex no more. Like, yeah, I ain't got, and I ain't got. <laughs> Nothing, I ain't got nothing against it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just like... It's, it's a lot. It, it, it's, it's a, it, it was a bit much. I got. <laughs> let me tell you something. I really commend Dude. Yeah. I feel like Dude is a great actor. Oh, yeah. He did he's, an amazing, he's, he's doing his thing. exceptionally amazing yeah. job. And then, <clears throat> you know, he understand capitalization. Yeah. He understand that it's, it, it's we living in a real... Yeah. We living in a real alphabet world. We living in the real LGBTQC, mm-hmm. BD, EFG, yeah. HIJK, Element of PS world. Do you feel like, before we get back to you catching that, uh, talking about, you know, you getting pinned up again on Love and Hip Hop, do you feel like <clears throat> Love Murder, I believe his name is Alfonso, I forgot his mm-hmm. last name, uh, do you feel like he's branded himself? You know how some people would do, like Diamond from Play- Players Club, like Lisa, yeah. Lisa Ray. You know what I'm saying? Everybody he's going to forever be Love Murder. And hey, ever, forever. I was, I was really thinking about but that. But the thing about it I, is, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. That's not, to me, I don't think that's bad but cast, at all. But <clears throat> casting directors will have a problem. Like, can we take him, can we truly take him out of this character? Or will Lil Murder always come through, I, no I, matter I think, what? I think, I think that. In our movies. No, I think that, I think that. It's, it's roles, the right roles. He gonna transition. It's just right. elevation. He's definitely the more, a character. Yeah, actor. the more the more roles he get, the more because tra- I seen him on another show, yeah. and when I seen him on that other show, I was appreciating his acting there, and he was in a um, it was a heterosexual heterosexual relationship. He was having sex with a woman, and I and I and I and I actually watched that movie because he was in it, okay. and I knew that it wasn't um. Like a P Valley type of movie, yeah. so I wanted to see him outside of that element. Yeah, and the dude is an amazing actor, so I feel like the sky the limit for dude. Mm-hmm. I really do. And like I say, I don't even got nothing against. One thing about me, I ain't got nothing against you, you no no people. You ain't gotta prove that that people know. I, 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 people, I, I, people I love know. all people, but you ain't you gotta feel prove me. That. But it's like yeah, you ain't gotta in this world we in. They yeah. do push it on us a lot, yeah. and it's like. You know what? I, I I'm just going to give it up, down. I'll be honest with you. I remember coming up. I couldn't watch sex scenes. We had to close our eyes. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. We couldn't talk about even though we yeah we used to kiss you know I used to kiss boys and stuff like that or have a little boyfriend. That was nothing we bragged about as kids. It was nothing that they thought was cute mm-hmm. because like you carried yourself like a lady. You know what I'm saying? You didn't put your business out there in the streets and you damn sure didn't go around bragging it like yeah mama, I got a boyfriend <laughs> and now. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, these high school shows where the kids are LGBTQ or even straight and sneaking in the principal's office to have sex on the couch. I'm like, when did Saved by the Bell ever feature anything sexual? Saved by the Bell, I don't even think I saw teenagers kiss. But you, you gotta understand. Saying? But you gotta understand, like even Family Matters, hell. No, but Earth- you gotta you gotta understand. Yeah. All of this shit is, all of this shit is really. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's intentional. All- yeah, definitely. It's all it's all a it's all a plan. Oh yeah. That 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 you know what I'm saying? The higher ups. It's a plan that the higher ups have to um to just to just keep to just keep control of the mass. All of this shit is a control based thing. Mm. This is the way they really control us. Cause they keep our minds locked in to what they want us to be locked into. They keep our minds paying attention to what they, to, to what they want us to see. Yeah. So, like, while we zero in and our focus is on all of the bullshit, they over here doing all of the other shit that we can't, like, they doing all... It's like, man, this shit's yeah. so crazy. It's like they doing... Man, it's like we in the Matrix, for real. It's like oh, they yeah. got us in a little bubble. It's like they got us under this... This this us. We all up... They compartmentalize us. They put all us up under this cap, right? And But this is the rest of the world. This table is the rest of the world. This table is... is, is all of the things that we missing, all the elements of life that we missing because they got us trapped up under this cap inside of our social medias, what inside our material, te- television, and t- inside of our, inside of this, yeah. inside of our sexualities, inside of all of this shit. Things that really don't help the world progress. Exactly. In no type of way. Watch and this, I say this all game. the time. What does your sexuality got to do with moving the world? No, well, I'm going to give you some game. If What's you up? look at, if you look at, right, TikTok is a Chinese thing, right? Yeah. 
So in China, you know, on a TikTok algorithm with yeah. this show, they algorithm is different from the American algorithm. Oh, of course. Our algorithm show all the dances and all of the goofy shit yeah. and all of the funny shit and all of the weird shit that we love to do because we use TikTok to have fun. Right. In China, they algorithm is educational. Yeah. They algorithm they is all educational. They want all, to push. Exactly. Yeah. So they know what to give us over here in America yeah. because they know we Americanized and they know what we caught up in. So me personally, when it comes down to all of that shit, I, that's why I don't even try to really be like really caught up in the too much like uh, like like trying to change the world type of shit. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna put yourself out there on the limb. You put yourself out there on the limb for your people, and your people gonna leave your ass out there for dead Show when you do it. Wheel. Look Show at Gucci. Me. Remember when Gucci was banned, yeah. and you people standing up for Gucci, and right after that, everybody right back wearing Gucci. They, I, and they the, figured out how we work as a whole. You know? Yeah, they know that shit. Everything with us temporary. Even the shootings with the polices yeah. and all this, all this shit is temporary. It's just like people want to stand up in a moment just because it's for clout. Like, I'm going to stand up and, and yeah. do this because it's it's relevant right now. So, okay, yeah. I could go talk about rest in peace to George Floyd right now because it's a relevant thing. But now that George Floyd is long and gone, we're not doing anything to make any change. Like, one thing Tupac said, that's why Tupac is, to me, the greatest of all time and will forever be. Tupac, to me, is what Jesus is to a Christian. Tupac said it ain't them that's killing us, it's us that's that's, that's killing us. Mm-hmm. It ain't them that's hurting us, it's us that's hurting us. So until the like all all of all of the um artists and influencers and everybody that got these platforms, it's really if we want change, we got the change gotta come with us. We gotta change our behavior. We gotta stop, we gotta figure out a way to stop these young niggas from killing each other. We gotta figure out a way to stop the violence in our own communities. That's the only thing that's gonna help us. It, well, I mean, isn't the isn't the hip hop industry responsible for that though? Partially. Yeah, especially with this this new uprise and like drill music and things like of that. Of course, partially is yeah. definitely is definitely uh uh but it is what it is like it's fucked up. But it is what it is. But I mean, they're making songs like in the hip hop community now. They are literally making di- it's diss. But no, after that's what that's why that's what the labels and the execs and everybody want these young niggas to keep putting out. They want that. Oh, he finna talk about killing. Sign his ass. Let's it's push mo- that it's shit. It's modern day genocide. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so and they know exactly. We the only. Okay. We the only race that kills somebody over. D- no, over but look, look, look. Who? Okay, let's try to think about it. We probably, black people, and probably Spanish people, I think. Like, but when I say black people, I, I speak on like Spanish, Jamaicans and all. Spanish got us beat, though. We motherfuckers is, they listen. We, but we the motherfuckers <laughs> that, we we, <laughs> we, the majority, we the majority of the motherfuckers that's killing our people in all our songs. All our songs is about degrading, like, all of our songs is about tear, tearing us down. If you think about it, our songs about women is about sexualizing women, calling them bitches, whole tearing them down, killing niggas. All of our music is about tearing us down. I mean, you in it, so yeah, yeah. I, I do it. I, yeah. I make music about tearing us down. I yeah. talk about fucking on bitches and fuck this hoe and fuck yeah. this nigga. And all our music is about tearing us down. And you know what? It's weird. It's fucked up, but it's just like, I guess that's us. And I'm like, I, I, I ain't trying to be the nigga that's trying to say, oh, I'm finna change it. I'm finna mm-hmm. change the world. Because I can't do it. I can't change the world. Yeah. I can't change the motherfucking world. I can change my world. And the people that's in my world, but I can't change the whole world. You know what I'm saying? I can't because it it, it, it is what it is. This shit was predestined from goddamn... With, this shit was predestined from slavery. But what... Yes, true. I mean, we could we could go real. They deep. had this shit. Willie Lynch said when he said four hundred years plus. Yeah, he meant that shit. Yeah, I let's know. say four hundred thousand I mean, years as plus. They figured out how we coexist as black people. You know what I'm saying? Like just me just getting off a plane. You know, being in Africa for thirty days and stuff. You know, my husband's African, and you know, even the way the Africans, even though there's different tribes. Black people, we are all interconnected. We all have the same gene. So, like, say for instance, like you like jury. You in the, you in the, you in the hip hop industry. 
Next nigga that want to be in the hip hop industry is gonna like jury. Like we, Facts. that's how we operate. We're we're very we're, we're no different than than China, than the Asians. The Asians, no, definitely. they want to sit on the floor and eat. They sit on the floor and eat. eat. Yep. Everybody gonna sit on the floor and eat. It's a yep. cultural thing. So once they penetrate the culture. Or they're able to strip you from your culture and give you another culture. They know that each one is going to teach one. And Facts. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how they, they figured it out. But, like, you know, when it comes to the hip-hop industry, it's, like, real scary. Like, it's like it's the bad. moment you get signed, the moment you even have the thought to say, I want to be a rapper. No joke. I, I took my son up out of America to go get educated. He is being educated right now in an all-black country in Africa. Because That's I did good. not want him coming to me, living in Florida, saying, Mama, I want to be a rapper. Facts. I, I, could, I couldn't do it because it's a, it's a death sentence now. Even, Ooh, even, growing, it's, 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 even growing up. You know why? You know why? Because nowadays as rappers, young rappers. Yeah. It is imperative that you live in what you're rapping about. Like, these young dudes is coming up off of really living what they rap. Like, really living the shit that they rapping the about. G- it's, what's getting them, it's what's getting them the clout. Like, really, like, okay, they know we know the man man to drill something. We know the man man to blow a nigga face off. So yeah. if man man drop a song about blowing a nigga face off, we all want to listen to it because we know man man going to blow a nigga face off. Listen... I know that King Vaughn was a great rapper. His lyricism was on another level. But when I listened to his music, it made me feel so demonic. <laughs> I swear to God. Rest in peace and to King Vaughn. Rest in peace. However, like you know energy comes through. And but I know for you every it might word. make you feel but it might make you feel demonic, but for some of these for these younger people it make them feel good. So for you, oh. for you, you feel demonic. But for these young, I feel like I'm sitting in the young. room with the devil himself, and he tell you, "I'm about to come get your ass." <laughs> <laughs> Cause you ain't going Rest nowhere. Peace, man, like, the oh, King Von, man. Oh, like the dude from Duval County, the the clapping dude or the, the tapping. He just did the... Uh, Who won't smoke with me? Yeah. Like, every time Nardo I listen, Wicks. I'm like, shout out to Nardo, yeah, man. Yeah, Nardo. When I listen to Nardo rap. I'm like, listen, I would not want to piss that motherfucker off. I just don't. No, nah, but you got to understand, these, these, these guys, man, you know no, these no, no, guys. No, no, don't smile. I ain't never seen them laugh. <laughs> and nigga be clapping and, and stuffing his feet talking about who won't smoke. Hey, no, nah, one <laughs> thing about it, hey, I done, I done met Nardo a few times. Nardo, is, he a vibe. But you know what? You got to understand, that's yeah. what people buying into. Yeah. I ain't saying that he's a character or that's not him, but to the world, that's the character that they but buy it's into. Ch- it's children, though. I think the, the kids children loving is- that shit. But why? Because we may, because ignorance has become acceptable. Like we glorify ignorance now. That's what it is. That's just what it is. Like, like ignorance is the new norm. That's it. So, so, but let me show you something. Let me show you something. You know how they call us niggas, right? Yeah. You know, nigga. I mean, nigga. We, call it, we call ourselves niggas. I know. Yeah. You know how they, I'm saying, you know how they used to call us niggas? Yeah. Meaning we was ignorant, right? Right, right. So, what we did was we took this is in the defense of, we took the ignorant that they called us. And turned it into a motherfucking um and, and, and capitalized An off empire. of it and built the empire off the ignorance. Yeah, yeah. So and you got to remember one thing that I can appreciate about nowadays is through a lot of the ignorance that you know what I'm saying that is out. We was able to build a lifestyle. Everybody ain't talented. Everybody ain't smart. Everybody ain't go to the best schools. Everybody ain't educated. But through these apps, we can get on here. We can show our personalities. We can put our music out. We can do, and we can make a living off of it. America right now, I just watched. And, and hold on. What's up? And the sun just came to my mind. Go ahead. That's what they want to keep us doing. It's like, remember when we was enslaved and we used to have to entertain the white folks? Yeah. It's like now, it's like. This right here, it stops us from educating ourselves because we can go on this app and get famous and rich off that's, of that's and off of off of entertaining. So we're not thinking about going to be a doctor no more, being a lawyer no more, being things of that nature no more because we're entertaining on these apps and making money off of being entertaining 
And we really entertaining the white folks, like how we used to do when we was in slavery. Oh, they just watching. They laughing. Yeah, that's what they I'm saying. They on CNN. Like, we puppets. It. Yeah, they on CNN talking about it. But guess what? If, 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 if it's bringing an extravagant life for us and we living and we able to take care of our kids and do what we do, See, salute honey, to I us. I cannot find one interview nor conversation with you talking about this. This is the only one. This will be. Well, no, like, so. Um, like, I know that you. I've, I know no, that I've, never, I've never did. No, yeah, I've never rap. did a lot of interviews before. I know that you're funny. I know that you can wrap your ass up. I know that you're incredibly talented. But I feel that this is missing. Like, you right. saying, I cannot be. Rest in peace to <clears throat> PNB Rock. I cannot be PNB Rock. No, I can't. You have like that has to go out on social media. It has to because Rest in peace to him. you know what I'm saying. He, for him, like <clears throat> you know, and I don't fuck with DJ Alvin, Alvin and the Chipmunks act. I don't fuck with him. Right? I don't even know who that is. DJ Academic. You know oh yeah, yeah. You know who that niggas. So I don't. I don't fuck with him like that. But you know what I'm saying. He does have a lot of these rappers come on his show. No different than Vlad, right? And they really talk about some of the things that they've gone through and they they poured their hearts out and then to see them do these interviews, you know, Act didn't put it out until, you know, PMB Rock had passed. I guess maybe he thought he wasn't relevant enough, but you know, more relevant when you're dead, of course. I mean that's anybody. They say, you know, if especially if you're in a limelight these days, you are more uh uh popular when you, when you transition. I mean the music you, you get, sales when, are through Yeah, when you die, that's when you're gonna get your most comments and likes on your yeah. last post. Yeah. I mean you it, can it get a million streams, comments and all that's what I'm saying. But it was like damn when I was alive while y'all motherfuckers was at. Right. Y'all found me when I was exactly. dead, but when I was alive, why you motherfuckers maybe if you motherfuckers would have commented how y'all commented when I was dead, when I was alive, yeah. I wouldn't have been dead because I would have been thinking smarter. Cause I would have felt like yeah. damn I got a lot of love out here but by these motherfuckers not showing you the love that you die it's like that that lack of love that you think that you missing make you be a little bit careless do, do you feel like even though because i saw an interview that he did before he died i don't know how long he did it you know what i'm saying before with dj ag and he said that you know people have tried to come at him before just like you've been shot at multiple mm-hmm. times and so for him to be in such a a, a loose area you know what i'm saying and it's it's being posted on social media. Do you feel like it was pride? Honestly and truthfully, because you just said your, your I don't, friends asked you to go to the strip club. Think, and you I don't said think no. I don't think I don't think PNB don't give me a pride type of person. I don't think it was pride. I just think that he was just vibing, living like. Sometimes, you know, life can be real good and you just living and feeling so good that you're not thinking about that. You with your girl, your your jig, like you vibing, you chilling, you ain't thinking about nothing negative. Like sometimes life can, that's another thing about life. It could be so good and it could feel so good that you can forget. I even have to tell my homeboys at times. Like even like I said, last night my homeboys was dangling at a spot, but my homeboys is such a good space in life and life is so good. They don't be thinking sometimes about um. Uh, what could happen? What could happen? Yeah. And then, especially if you, especially if you ain't really like experienced nothing lately, like you don't got comfortable back in life. Me, I'm always like I'm I'm permanently mentally I, fucked I mean, up. You, you've been, so I'm you've been always a lot. <laughs> so I'm always think like that. Yeah. But everybody ain't like that. Some people just live life and just enjoy life, and, and, and just feel so good about life to to where they don't think like that. You understand what I'm saying? Like me personally, at certain places I don't even wear jewelry. I like if I'm going to a certain spot or a certain location, or if I'm, even if I'm booked at a certain place, I might minimize the amount of jewelry I'm wearing. It ain't because I'm scared of nobody or I'm in fear of nothing. Yeah. It's just that because I know that no matter who you is, is always a nigga that feel like he that's better than you. And that's what I'm talking about, the, the pride factor. Like, he knew that motherfuckers was after him. He knew that people but were trying I, I to don't, rob I don't, him. I don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if he knew that. Like, you, yeah. don't, you, don't, you never know that. You never know if I mean, a person never coming, know, yeah. if a person trying to rob you. Look at me. I came up here. I'm got trivia on. God forbid, I could walk outside and get robbed. I didn't. Know, I didn't not, come not up down in, here. You can't. But guess what? <laughs> but guess what? You can think that. That's yeah, the thing. You yeah, can think not yeah. down here, but you can walk out of here, and it can happen. It can happen anywhere. Okay. It can I mean, happen anywhere. Yeah. 
You understand what I'm saying? It can happen anywhere. Or I could go to Crenshaw and nothing could happen to me. And it could happen to me. At, I know, listen, I know a nigga that got killed in front of his probation officer. What? Walking out of his probation office, he done got killed. So it's like, it doesn't matter where you at. When a nigga at your ass, a nigga at your ass. These these motherfuckers nowadays is big bad wolves ready to blow your How house you down. How do you feel about like, hearing that it was an actual child that did it? Man, I wasn't even surprised because it's like like these young guys right now in the, in the, in the communities, they like it's like they don't look up to no OGs. I mean, his daddy sent him inside. Yeah, his daddy his daddy sent him inside, but his daddy ain't no real OG. That ain't an OG move. An yeah. OG ain't finna send his son seventeen on no fluke mission like that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Like that just that that ain't yeah, no. Yeah, because he put his life in danger too. That ain't no OG yeah. shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no real OG shit, man. That's some that's some weird shit, bro. Yeah. That ain't no OG shit, bro. Like, and so that's just saying. I, I and when I mean, say OGs, niggas ain't I got OGs. They don't got niggas original gangsters, original gangsters that's giving them the game on how to they, how they could move. Like my nigga, ain't nothing wrong with being a warrior. We was put in this land to be a warrior. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We at war in these communities. We at war with ourselves. We at war with the white man. We at war. Ain't nothing wrong with being a warrior. You understand what I'm saying? You shouldn't be a pussy. You should not be scared. If you gotta take a life to save your life, you should never be. You should never be afraid to do that. Because you got this is this is a, a fucking dog eat dog world. Ain't nothing wrong with being a war. It's the way you be in a war. We ain't doing nothing senseless. We ain't doing it just because. We ain't doing it for the clout. We ain't doing it because a nigga stepped on our shoe. We ain't doing it for no reason. We doing it if we got to. Yeah. We ain't doing it just to be doing it. Okay, I'm finna go kill this nigga because I don't like what he claimed. We ain't doing that's senseless, bro. Like somebody gotta educate niggas on how to move. Like, look, bro, a lot of these young dudes in these communities that's that's really like that, they don't even know their own power. They don't even know the fucking type of revolution they could start. Like y'all niggas could change the game. Like these young niggas in the community really got the power to change the game. They just don't got the guidance, and they ain't got nobody who can lead them and open up no doors for them and tell them what like how they could move. They ain't got nobody to give them perspective. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas ain't giving them perspective. They getting their perspective from the music that they listening to. They getting their perspective from the, the 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 rappers that they look up to. They getting their perspective from the OGs, the the the, 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 the from each other, from yeah. the other street niggas in the other communities that they look up to. So it's just it's just fucked up. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. We can't we can't we, we can't cry over spoiled milk. We just gotta keep living. So what would you tell an up and coming, you know, not even up and coming, but like a young rapper now being signed, like or or trying to get signed or get into I would tell I would tell I the would, rap industry because right now to me it it seems like a death sentence. It seems no, like I death would tell a, I would tell an artist that's in a in the game right now coming in the game that's touching some paper. I would say. Become an entrepreneur, man. You know what I'm saying? Be a be a be a be a leader by example. Like if you know you got a whole bunch of niggas up under your regime that's all gonna kill anybody if you say kill them, then you should be able to tell them niggas to educate themselves. Just like you can send a nigga to go kill go kill a nigga, you should be able to send a nigga to go educate himself. So, you know what I'm saying? I would say educate yourself, man. Open up your mind. Like, my mama always told me this when I was young. You try you try everything in the streets. Try something different. Try something you ain't used to. So, I would tell you niggas, challenge yourself. Step outside the box. You can still keep your gangster image and do what you do, but elevate your mind, bro. You ain't no longer standing on the corner with your ops no more. You got enough money to get the fucking penthouse suite. You got enough money to take you in the game and go get a big old house on the other side somewhere and educate yourself and grow. It, it's funny because, like, when I was watching a scene with Prince and, and Tilt and Love and Hip Hop Miami, yeah. and, and, it, and Prince was trying to tell you, man, get out of the hood. You got to change. But let me show you something. What's up? I'm glad you said that. Yes. I can't take that from a nigga like Prince. And that's like we saying right now. Gotcha. But listen to me. Like, that's why I say it's it's important for like when you say what would I tell a young rapper nowadays? Yes. 
nigga, educate yourself and educate others because they will. Li- I would okay. listen if I was getting that from trick mm-hmm. or gunplay. Yeah, I would listen because they cut from the same cloth. Okay. I know these niggas done put in work. I know these niggas done been through the same type of struggles I done been through. So I I want to more listen. Like damn, that's real because they got they every every soldier got a story to tell. So I know like they can tell me okay. some stories that are that are open my mind. So I'm hearing it from a person that's relatable to me. I see what you're saying. So with okay. these young with these young niggas that's in the game. Man, you could talk about all the killing and shooting and all that, but still, a lot of y'all, a lot of these young niggas, man, y'all could, y'all could, y'all could, y'all could promote some positivity in your interviews. Yeah. Y'all can get in these interviews, man, and say something about um um uh uh uh, uh, uh business credit, a line of business credit. Well, y'all could y'all could educate these people in some type of way other than just telling us about the VVSs mm-hmm. and the the bitches and how many ops getting dropped and shit like that. Let's start like you could you you could you could you could, you could talk about how you came up off of dropping yeah. ops and doing this and doing that. But at some point, you could still start educating. You could still slick like throw some educational yeah. lines in your interviews and things of that nature to like kind of like wake wake some of these youngins up. Cause you really see that's why I love the nip so much, man. Rest in peace to Nip, dog. That's why I love the Nip so much. Oh, that's all he did. He was always like I love the Nip so educated. much, and that's and that's the thing about me, right? I was already saying like, damn, I gotta start doing more interviews and stuff like that. Cause people who have regular conversations with me behind the scenes always say like to me like, damn, K, why you don't be like you? Don't, you need to start about you. Then? Because I, I I I got some shit to tell a nigga ass boy. Ain't nothing wrong with being ain't, ain't man. I don't, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with being a square. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with being the nigga that say, boy, I'm straight. Cause get what? You gonna be the nigga that's out here fucking the nigga bitch that wanted to go fast. The nigga that say, fuck that, I'm finna go. In. He dead in a jail. Now that same bad bitch he was fucking left to fuck you, cause you was the square. Nigga, it's going. It's, it's, it, listen, these women. Like, I love me a great square. Okay? Yeah, like not saying you got to be no soft nigga, no yeah, PR, yeah. but bro, you don't got to prove yourself to everybody. You ain't got to be the square first. Means soft. No, I, it don't. I, you know what I'm saying? When I when I when I say square, yeah. I mean a person that's educating yourself, a person that ain't resulting to violence, mm-hmm. a person that ain't uh 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 uh, uh wilding out and, and just it's just doing just like. The worst, being like, reckless, just like being yeah. a cool, just yeah. being a cool dude, yeah. getting your bag, chilling, knowing how to, knowing how to apologize. Oh, excuse me, man, my bad, bro. I'm sorry. Or if somebody disrespect you. Hey, fuck, nigga, you got me fucked up. Oh no, nah, bro, I didn't even like that. I don't want no problem with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want no problem to, with learning you. Learning how to diffuse the situation. Yeah, like, it gets out yeah, of diffuse the situation. That's, nah, bro, pow- that's power, right there. Listen, that does, because that you might make you soft. No, that don't make you soft. Because yeah. that nigga that's calling you a fuck, nigga, you probably could knock him out in one hit. Yeah. But you like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Like, bro, I'm, I, it's, it's no pressure, bro. I, I, I mean, I did that one night in the club, bro. It was a nigga like I could just tell he wanted the. He wanted some type of something with me for no reason, I guess, because I was just looking so good and probably because I probably fucked this bitch or something. So uh, the nigga ended up, like, bumping me or something like that. And I'm like, oh, shit, my bad, bro. Excuse me. He like, damn, bro, you bumped me. I was like, bro, you really bumped me. I didn't bump you. Yeah. What you saying, my nigga? I said, I'm not saying anything, bro. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just trying to go downstairs and get really leave. I don't want no problem with you, bro. He like, go ahead then. I'm like, thank you, bro. I walked off. Thank you. I know, he felt real he not big even, in that he moment. Not thinking, he not even thinking at that yeah. moment. It was just me and my homeboy, we leaving out. And it was like him and four dudes. But he not knowing, like, that whole section behind me with them 20 people in it mm-hmm. is all my people. He not even knowing... He not even knowing what was in the club. Yeah. He not even knowing the nigga behind me. We in the club. Yeah. We got God with, ready to shoot our ops in the club. But guess what? I ain't jumping. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, yeah. man, it ain't nothing wrong with doing that, bro. It ain't nothing wrong with apologizing. It ain't nothing wrong with accepting an apology. It ain't nothing wrong with being a bigger person saying, yeah. man, okay. Because let me tell you something. I talk to niggas in prison every day. My brother got a they, life sentence. They wish they my cousin song. got a life sentence. <laughs> yeah. Several of my homeboys got life sentences that called my goddamn phone. This my prison phone, you might well say. These niggas yeah. calling me on a day-to-day basis. And that shit stressing. 
that wish they would have never picked that gun up or that wish that they would have turned the other cheek or whatever the fuck you call it. Man, that shit ain't sweet. Look what happened. Them niggas killed PNB, bro. Them niggas locked right. Them niggas finna be gone for the rest of their fucking life. Yeah. Everybody don't get away. Let me, let's switch up for a second here. Not it's not too much off subject, but why why if and Lucci? Like let's. How does that make you feel now that he's uh? Because I mean, this is somebody that you came up with. I mean, it, it's just it's just unfortunate, man. It's just like. I hate to see Lucci in that position. I hate to see Young Thug them in that position. Yeah. I like I, I like th- like these are all niggas who I look up to in the game musically. Like I love all them niggas music. I hate to see all them niggas in that in that situation in that position. Did you ever work with uh, Thug or them? Did you ever? Nah, I never I never worked with Thug or uh, 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 Gun of them. Uh, Yak got it free free Yak. That's my dog. Okay. I fuck with Yak. I was eventually gonna get to work with them because I knew two or three niggas that was up under them. Okay. Rest in peace to Lil' Key. Key was real cool with me, so I knew a few people that was up under them, but it just didn't it didn't transpire yet. It ain't happened yet. Okay. But it was going to happen. And you know when them boys come home, it'll happen one day, but it's just fucked up, bro. You feel because, like they're going to find some type of, you know, common ground? Man, listen. One thing I know, two things for sure. Boy, God is a motherfucker. Mm. Cause I mean, you know. Let me show you that I done been in some shit where God done pulled through, pulled up, showed up, showed out. Look, just, so just, I can't just, say what ain't go. You know what I'm saying? Just be thankful your ass in Florida, okay? No, you know, I had different. charges in Carolina, Georgia, Florida. I done did time at all. I done that's did about time. right now because Atlanta they doing a whole motherfucking sweep. Nah, but see that's yeah. the thing. I ain't doing. I don't know. My hands is clean. I'm a full <laughs> fledged entertainer. They don't I won't give a fuck. They listen. going back. They going back twenty sell, thirty years now. I won't sell a bag of weed. I won't sell a bag of coke. I won't sell nothing. <laughs> nigga, nigga, walk up on me asking me for something. I'm saying, I what say you talking about? Water. I say this water. Well, I say you. I say you some Jesus right now. You want a sermon? <laughs> Pull out a. Don't play at me. But nah, at the end of the day, it's just all. Uh, yeah. You just gotta keep Have your you nose clean. Have you talked to Lucci since he been in? Yeah, I hollered at him. How I hollered at him. I hollered. He keeping his head up. He, only, yeah. he ain't even talking like he in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you know they said they saying now because you know a square, like, like you said. I mean, yeah. you said it. Like you know the hard nigga in jail and the squares out here under his girl. You know what I'm saying? So you know he was with Regine and oh, you know, Regine dating the YouTuber. I like Armand. I love uh, me a good square. I don't know him. I mean, I mean, I, <laughs> so, what thing? This how I feel. If, if it's happiness, yes, I'm all for it. She happy. If it's happiness, I'm all for and it. Every you woman me? ain't ain't cut out to be with a street nigga. It's just it nah. doesn't like for me. I don't, I don't even feel right saying street nigga. It's just not a part of my vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, man, that's, you it's, know, it's crazy. nerd, square, gentleman. You know that that's that's my language. You know, so. yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. But I I mean I like that she. You know I like to see people happy. Yeah. So they happy. They happy. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And I and I'm and I'm pretty sure Lucci is just in a good spirit. And uh, first of all, Lucci ain't got bigger fish to fry, so I'm pretty sure he definitely ain't worried about a relationship that somebody got that he left out here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So he pretty he, he trying to get back home. Lucci got kids. Lucci got family. Lucci is a real family man. Yeah. Lucci is real family oriented. He take care of every single kid, baby mama, mama, yeah, brother, he sister. He take care of his family. So yeah. I know what his mind at. His mind on taking care of family, getting back to family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he pressed on a relationship shit. Lucci yeah. Louis, Louis a player anyway, man. That man, smooth, cool dude, man. Yeah. And Reggie Nate happy. She got a new boyfriend. He do you dope. think he's, do you think he's, um, I know he got bigger fish to fry, but as far as like, you know, the ongoing, I mean, there's a lot of talk behind, you know, what him and Young Thug or, you know, got going on. I mean, is he really worried about that situation? Is he more worried about doing time or is he more worried about the I, beef? I, 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 I honestly don't know because he never spoke on nothing like that to me, okay. so I can't say. Yeah, they do. But I know, I know me knowing Lucci, yeah. Lucci focused on getting home to his family. Okay. That's just all I know, Lucci. Okay. Lucci focused on getting back to his family. Just like Young Thug, them focused on getting back to their family. All these people, it's, when you get behind them walls, <laughs> it ain't no, nigga ain't worried about no beef. Nigga trying to get back to the money and to the family. These yeah. prolific individuals, yeah. Wife in, 
Um, um, why I sell? Yeah. That's all prolific shit. Them people trying to get back to being prolific. Okay. I can guarantee you this: if them niggas could do it all over again, they'll do it different. They'll definitely do it different. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about them now coming after record labels and 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 throwing Rico charges at record labels? Hell, they threw a Rico charge at R. Kelly, and he and said he was a one man. Criminal organization. That's, that's fucked up what they yeah. did to R. Kelly, man. Well, like, I, I understand. Nah, I understand. Well, I understand R. <laughs> Kelly played with them churn. Yes. But it's fucked up what they did to him. Because get no, what? Over churn? You ain't got no No, no, kids, no, no. Let me tell you what. No. You the, ain't man, got no the kids. Mama, them mamas was selling them. Think about this. Nah, that's, wait, that's, wait, 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 wait. Just think about that's this. fucked up what the parents How did. the fuck you not know your 14-year-old daughter is with R. Kelly. Yeah, I mean, that's... If that's you got a 14-year-old <laughs> daughter, she supposed to go to school and come home. <laughs> yeah. You knowing these little girls is with but R. I Kelly. But I mean, the parent sex trafficking. That was, it wasn't a... That shit was a conspiracy. No, no, no. What People else? from the labels knew what was going on. The parents knew what was going on. R. Kelly management team, the family, all the motherfuckers should be locked up. Yeah. It should be a whole RICO oh, act absolutely. against that. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I ain't saying that the nigga is 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 what he did was good. No, yeah. that's some fucked up shit you doing. You look yeah. pedophile ass nigga, but it's fuck even more fucked up that he's in that situation on his own yeah. because there's so many other the parents, the the, the labels, all all the motherfuckers yeah. guilty. Well, I mean, I think the fans did a fucked up job making deals. Man, they with, posted with the parents. Yeah, you know okay, so they did the deals and just to get, just, but they they it's supposed to be other people jammed yeah, up. I mean, and you know what else is crazy? Like that's like me when I went to school, right? Mm -hmm. I, when I was in high school, all of the older dope boys was fucking little girls in my high school. Yeah. At the uh, at the girls used to get dropped off by the dope boys. Yeah. With at the, my at my with, high school, with their parents' permission. What them dope boys, <laughs> yeah. thirty some, twenty some, thirty some, was taking yeah. care of them young girls in high school. The, the 14, 15, 16 year olds. Yeah. This shit ain't just start happening. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But in, 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 in R. Kelly situation, it should have been a whole Rico acting that. And that's the only thing yeah. that I don't like about yeah. that situation. And I mean, his I don't know who his legal team was to advise him to even fight. As a one man Rico act, I think maybe they had something because it's been very rare that they've ever been able to get anybody as a one man under a, something that was built for a criminal organization. But mm -hmm. they're just saying that he was the mastermind, and basically they roped up everything that he had been doing over the last thirty years. No, but what that and, did, what and, that came from was he stopped paying. Yeah, I mean the money, the money. He stopped paying. That's because think about this. Why? Why? That's what I don't like. He had a number. No, His but lawyers why, what, had a number. It was two hundred fifty thousand per. Uh, child. Once but, they got older, they wanted out. You know. Yeah, but then what I don't be liking, right? They coming for, it's just like Bill. Y'all let these people do all this shit all these years. Y'all been knew they was doing this. Y'all been cooked. Oh, they was down. doing that shit at the Playboy Mansion. Bill was, was saying, at the Playboy Mansion. But they were saying, y'all y'all could have been took these people the down. Y'all yeah. could have been took them down, but y'all strung them along so long because they was paying. The money was good. As soon as they stopped paying, they took them down. Hugh Hefner and all them niggas who were doing it, them niggas paid to the death. Oh, yeah. That's why they never came for them. Oh, yeah. You want to know some crazy shit, I What's believe? That? What's that? I think they was coming for Michael Jackson and he knew it. They were. I think Michael, Michael Jackson committed suicide. You think he committed? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, think he knew they was coming for him. Listen, Michael died broke. You know what I'm saying? They knew he was coming for him. Remember Oprah and all? They, they, yeah. they, he knew. He knew they were coming. Michael say, I'd rather leave with my legacy. What I think is, Michael say, I'd rather leave with my legacy. Then when I go, my shit going to go up to He's, worth being worth billions. Yeah. Then staying here and letting them come and get me and lock me up. And I be in that motherfucker he he in, in jail. And That's what I think. And ain't got shit. And then maturing ain't got shit. My family yeah. ain't got shit. Yeah. I'm going to take this ill and sacrifice myself for the good of greatness. Because think about this. Bill, Michael, Kelly, all the motherfuckers. They were coming all the motherfuckers back to back to back. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, they can't get to Texas. They're going to get it one way or another. 
So it's but, fucked up. That's I why. just talked about that the other day. I said I felt like you know R. Kelly, you know, because we did a, a lot of coverage on that, a lot of coverage, so much mm. coverage that. You know, the fans even contacted me. Was like, hey, we, Damn. Need, we need a subpoena. I said, yeah, subpoena my ass. Is it here right now? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> let me recant my statement. Let me recant my statement. Let me tell you something. One thing about my lawyers, though, I ain't never had to honor no motherfucking subpoena, okay? They know what the hell they doing. So, um, nah, we, we we protect our shit over here, especially when it comes to sources. I wouldn't have a platform. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, if I'm, I'm sitting... You know, under oath and shit. Like, no, I'm not Facts. doing that. So, um, but for the most part, like, I just felt like, you know, it was a railroad because mm-hmm. there was so many intricate parts in there. Yeah, you got the business manager. Yeah, they got like one white dude that was his business manager that was helping to write the checks or supposedly like, um, you know, what I'm saying what blackmail or or bribe. You know, what I'm saying the victims of their families and stuff like that. But it does not make up for, you know. Them organizing parties. I think that them them bringing the girls. It. Yeah, that that them, puts you the in. The lawyers who wrote the checks to the to the children. All them guilty you know too. What I'm now his lawyer did end up dead. It was a white woman who was writing the checks to to the victims, and she just got hit. She was walking out of her building one day, got hit by a Mark Van. So I don't know who was behind that. Yeah, they, so they, when, they when you got a lawyer up. just writing checks. You know what I'm saying? And, and listen, there's a investigation like this down. They're like, well, who's telling her to write the checks if he can't read? You know what I'm saying? People's gonna ask like, if he Man, cannot they, read, they just, who's they telling just, her to write the checks? They took Kelly out. That's all I can say. They they came from. Well, I mean, he took himself out. I mean, no, they, no, no, they, he they, did, he did. I he mean, he did, out. he did, he took himself out. But, but I'm just saying, but you, boy, he got, he got. Oof. And, 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 and like, this, I got, I'm not in his defense. But this to serve as any warning to anybody in the limelight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Don't if you gonna be in a limelight, you better walk a very, very thin and very clean. Yeah, I don't line. even play. I, that's the okay? thing about me. I don't even. Play, I ain't playing. With, I don't play with nothing. I don't. Play, yeah. I can't. I can't even. I can't. I don't even like young girls. Listen, twenty one you be too young I for me. My, that shit give me a daughter, headache. My daughter's fifteen and she has friends. Right. True story. True story. So you know, I have a we have a husband. She has a daddy that lives in the house, mm-hmm. and even though I'm a public figure, my husband is not. He runs our business, right? Mm-hmm. But we still have. I have to think about that beyond. So you know, any type of friends that you have, I have to meet their parents, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hey, you know, what I'm saying, who's the mom? So there was a little little white girl wanting to come over and you know do homework. My daughter, I was like, okay, let me talk to her mom. So she's like, oh, well, she gave me a number. She gave me the wrong number. Little girl mm-hmm. shows up in a fucking Uber mm-hmm. with no parent at 15. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, you tell that little girl. She better not enter this motherfucking driveway. The Uber turned her around and took her back where they got her from. Mm. I said, now nah, I need a mama number. I said, let me tell you something. I said, I have to protect yes. your father and I, everything. That little girl, her parents don't know where she at. Obviously, they don't, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> she come up over here. You don't know what type of house she live in, but when she roll up to the Kiwi, we living really good. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Uh, your daddy looks young. You know what I'm saying? People think he he's in his 20s. Yeah, we don't need nothing. We don't no, need nothing don't, going on play, over here. I don't play uh-uh. that shit. So like she's she has to honestly walk a thin line as as a teenager because it's like I got to think about the what ifs, the what ifs, the what ifs. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Because like one allegation and it could end your whole everything. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm let them come with allegation here. We we going all the way to motherfucking court. I don't give a fuck what I got to lose cuz I can get it back. When you learn how to make money, just like you done came out, done got it, lost, lost it, it, and got it back. back. When you learn how to make I'm money, a, I'm Mr. Seesaw. I C-Saw. am not afraid to I'm let a, it go. Uh, my life been a seesaw, listen, up and down, up listen, and down, you know up and many, down. You know how many wealth documentaries I've watched on, on listening to prolific white men say, I can just throw away $250 million, and I will try to give it away, and it come back threefold. No mm. matter how much I just don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how money works, but people want to hold on to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, spin what is that it doing? Shit. Spin it. Spin it. Buy it. Put it in assets. Do it. Do it. Do it. So I'm not worried it about that. Strippers. I will go to the end of the world. I'm telling you, allow me and my family, you make any allegation, but I, tr- I do, I have parameters in place to protect that. So, like, the same friends that she's always had, she's always had. We know the parents. All the parents know each other. And, and, and frankly, ain't no fast girls. 
And those fast ass little God. girls. If your mama don't give a God. fuck where you at, I don't care, but you ain't coming the fuck over here. Okay? Exactly. No, you you, you not. take your ass over there. So no, listen. You it's like you gotta you gotta walk up that line. It's like I don't even want people to even be in the limelight. Like, this shit is not it's not glo- people think it's glorious. Yeah, like, that, that, that shit. It be times where I just be wanting, to, like especially nowadays. It's yeah. like damn. Sometimes you wish you could just not be a public figure. Yeah, and you could just be. You know, a, I do not have social media on my phone. Chelsea, Chelsea, do all that shit for me. She has to tell me. Chelsea, if I- fine. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> I just want you she's to know that she's a beautiful girl. She's she got some really nice lips too. She's a beautiful girl. Okay, amazing. So, very young. She has a future ahead of her. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. No kids. I was like single. She keep the type of me, she, me too. Yeah. I, 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 I ain't yeah. got no kids. I got a right yeah. future so, ahead of me. I'm just, I'm just glad that she hasn't allowed a man to come in. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Fuck up because you know, you know how yeah. y'all that's motherfuckers what I'm, that's be. That's That's what I'm saying. You know how and y'all that's what I'm saying. Be. And that's my whole, yeah. that's my whole objective to prevent a man from coming in and really like interrupting her peace like I feel like my job in Chelsea's life is to keep her peace you understand what I'm saying and don't let no man come and interrupt it because we we gotta watch out for these men yes and it's like that's why I was like, come on, when I seen her and I'm like, oh God, look at this. Okay. God, you know God, me and yeah. God, you know I already know God be killing yeah, my ox yeah. for me. So God say, look, I done killed a lot of ox for you. I want you okay. to do me a favor. Okay. Protect that girl energy. I say, okay. I got you, God. Okay, that's what you told him. That was, yeah, I told him I got I, you know, I be doing God favors too. <laughs> like, I do God favors. Like, I'm probably about one of the only niggas, like, can everybody else be asking God yeah. for shit, begging God all day? Yeah. God be getting tired of that shit. He be, yeah. I talk to God. God talk back to me. Yeah. Everybody like to beg from God. God, please <laughs> give me that. Motherfucker, you been begging for God all your life for the same shit. That's why you ain't got it. God tired of people begging. So I be telling, I be doing favors for God. Do some favors for God. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that um, you know, if if Chelsea does decide, mm-hmm. you know, uh, she will ask me, mm-hmm. you know, what I think. Mm-hmm. And I personally think that you 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 uh, have definitely changed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You are walking. You know what I'm saying? A pretty straight line. The path. I'm walking the you path can, of righteousness. You can, you can help her to yes to level up. Yes, the path and, of righteousness. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? And she can bring something to the table too, because she's not one of those women where you gotta, you know, you kind of. She's expecting somebody to come give it to her. Like she works mm. really hard. She so, works really hard. And that's my thing is like keeping, you know, you know, because they do have those type of men out there. That, yeah. That you know. Use, them, users you, and abusers. Yes, users and yes. abusers. Yes. So, they they mentally yeah. abused. They dem- they yeah. mentally domestic. Yeah. And yeah. I don't like, you know, that she's, you know, she doesn't have any kids. And, and there's a I don't lot got of any men. kids neither. I know, there's so a lot we of both men out here have a baby. that, we you have know, a pursue baby. her with children. And I'm like, why Why do you have to settle? Yeah, no, they're we not, can have a baby. They're pursuing you with no kids for a reason. Yeah, we you know can have saying? a baby. No, I, I, listen, slow down. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought, I thought. Too fast. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I was, let me stop. Let me put my brakes. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know because you're a talker. She's a talker. I can. I can definitely. No, it's, see, it's gonna be good. See the arguments. No, it's not gonna saying? be the arguments. So, we're, yeah. we're not gonna have. We're, gonna, we're not gonna have arguments. She's strong will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be quiet and let her. I'm gonna be like, go ahead, babe. Say what you need to say. Okay. Okay. So, so you're you're using a podcast to shoot your shot at Chelsea. Okay. So so I came <laughs> to the podcast because the podcast is dope. Thank you. That's why I, I came that. to the podcast. Let me just straighten yes, that. The podcast yeah. is dope. And like I told you, when I see <laughs> when I seen the podcast, I was just like, you know, this is it's, it's refreshing. Yes. Like, damn, this is something good that's going on in South Florida because, you know, we don't have a lot of platforms down here that's really like really moving. Yeah. Yeah. Like you got a lot of people trying to start shit, trying to do shit, but then they ain't really moving, moving like that. No, we, and we, I the train is already yeah that's what I'm saying so I was like damn this is some dope ass shit and like I already been said like damn I gotta get in I gotta get in my interview yeah. bag anyway cause I, I got like a lot of I got like a lot of information I got a lot of shit to say yeah. so that was the real initial reason why I know that. I know but that. then I, I tapped no 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 no, no. I'm not done <laughs> Okay. Then, so then I tapped in with Chelsea. Okay. Because I was going to drag the interview. I was going to do it. I just wasn't going to do it as soon. Okay. Then when I seen Chelsea, she she knew what she was doing. She <laughs> called me the first time <laughs> when we were supposed to do it in Atlanta, and I was a little busy. So she was Ch- like, Chelsea uh, is over our hip-hop department. Yeah, so but then you know, the, the first time <laughs> she called regular. Yeah. 
And it was like, okay, yeah, I'm busy. Okay, we, we, we go. I'm gonna come to Miami and do yeah. it. And then she was like, okay, he wanna play. She waited a week or two and FaceTimed me. <laughs> hey, K. <Kayana. laughs> I'm like, who is this? Wait, where did you, where, who is this? Who is you, girl? Boy, I've been calling you for the last time trying to get this interview. I said, I never knew it was you. <laughs> Nigga, you should have been FaceTime. We could have been got this interview done. What the fuck is wrong with you? So listen, I am not. Chelsea is not selling nothing to get no interview. No, but I know, I, I know. But when I see her, I'm just being G. When look, I see her, it if, motivated me even more it, to come down here and tell because, my story. Because in business, mm -hmm. you want to do business with with people that look the par, right? So it's not like she's on camera, titties is out. No, like that. she just was beautiful. Right. It was just so like people her, are her naturally. Beauty. We use the Trump effect. You know, I read. Trump's books before you mm -hmm. know he became president, and he you know I, I always learn from the white people. You know what I'm saying because Caucasians, yeah, Caucasians. Uh -huh. That's a good, that's a better word, right? Yeah, the Caucasians. So the white people does sound a little racist, but no, yeah, the white I, people. Like <laughs> I always learn. You know what I'm saying because it's like you know you have to surround yourself with with beautiful things, beautiful people. Like you come in the podcast room, you see our studio, you like wow, it's okay. nice. Yeah, this you is a little saying? vibrant, real you, you vibrant ain't coming room. to no mom and pop shit. We want to offer you a glass of wine. I'm sorry, the glass wasn't polished. When she and you know what I like about this podcast? The what most? you like? What you like? The cameras be rotating. I'm yeah. like, damn. Is that camera? I'm looking at this shit, the camera moving. I'm what the fuck that camera was doing? And they caught me like we're two, three times. They're like, that shit yeah, moving. We're black on. So I'm like, somebody you know, moving the camera. You know, I wish the Breakfast Club would stop doing this with their guests. You know, it's like, yeah, I don't no. make too much money for that. You know? Nah, got, y'all got them bitches rotating. I liked it. That, that, that made me feel like I we, was we get a lot futuristic. Of Look, my husband gets a lot of calls to come set up podcasts and things like that. But that, that was another thing. Like, you know, I'm from Florida. Mm -hmm. This is my home. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, Florida has been so welcoming like there's mm. not been no no artist that's been down here that's turned us down in Atlanta yeah. because people come there and, I, and Atlanta's a place where you can fake it you know what I'm saying fake it till these you motherfuckers make it. be having big ass houses and only one room is furnished you understand what I'm saying with a mattress on the floor I, 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 I was a girl I done been to a few girls <laughs> I done been to a few spots you like that. Me? And so when you come up down, you try to help get some money in their pocket, you realize, you know, we got this big, nice platform. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make you look good. We're going to make you sound good. You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to help furnish the other rooms in your house? Bring yeah. your products down. You know what yes. I'm saying? They want to give us a run around. You, you know going to put saying? a filter on me? No. Oh. Nothing is going to be censored. We oh, so I'm going to be raw footage, right? Raw, okay. Well, no. No, no filter. When you see the footage of this, because you have the spotlight, the, the way it's picking up, you're going to be like, wow. Damn, I look... I'm Matter of fact, let me show you, because we just did an interview last night. So I'm going to look handsome. You're going to look really nice, and your teeth are really going to shine. Okay. So, um... You think Chelsea going to like that? I don't know what Chelsea going to like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I just want to kind of give you an idea just how you're going to look. So you see oh how the spotlight... Oh, my God, that looked really good. Yeah. That motherfucker looked like I'm in an interrogation and, and room. And we black people, so, like, you really... She look good. Who is she? Yeah, this is Blueface's mother. Oh, Blueface's mama is nice looking. She yeah. looks so young. Yeah, she's 50. Can you believe it? Mm. She looks good. The mole and everything. <laughs> no, she looked really good. Yeah, so, like, you're going to pop, and we got the wine. Like, we, you know, black people, I really we like live. to do Caucasian shit. But with the black effect. Caucasian shit with the black with effect. With the black effect. And yeah. I'm being from Florida, so I cuss on this motherfucker. You know what I'm Gang saying? Shit. I may slide a bucket of oysters in this motherfucker's shotgun. You know what I'm saying? We may eat crab legs at the table. Oh, that's what I'm finna go it's eat. still going to be nice. You feel know I me? Mean? So, yeah. Yes. And you can smoke a little reefer if you want to. I don't smoke reefer. <laughs> I don't do nothing. All I do is drink water. I'm serious. Like people. What think, made you real quick? Because you know, health and wellness is that that's a passion of mine. Right. And you do not look how you looked on Love and Hip Hop. Right. You know what I'm saying you was kind of flabby. You had the little stomach. Yeah, I was you know a little what I'm pudgy. Now yeah. you all cut up and lean and everything like that. And uh -huh. so you don't drink no wine and nothing like that. But what? First of all, what made you change? Whew. Your habits. Okay. Because you was smoking and drinking and stuff like that, right? Of course. I okay. used to smoke and drink. I told you, I stopped 2018. When okay. I stopped when Love and Hip Hop came in my life. Okay, so you really Because I wanted to, I said, I want to capitalize off of this opportunity. Okay. And I felt like I used to drink and smoke so much to where I wasn't fully irresponsible, but I was a bit irresponsible with my money and 
and things of that nature because that's how I fucking went broke. <laughs> Being drunk and high and just blowing money, like not giving a Look, fuck. Look, your so, drill said the same shit so in I our just studio. Wanted, yeah, I wanted to be more responsible, so I went cold turkey because I was like, yo, when I get this opportunity with this love and hip hop shit, there's no looking back for me. Mm. I say there's no looking back. There's no more going back down. I done been on that... That financial roller coaster my whole life. I'm up and I'm down and I'm up again and I'm down. I say I ain't going back down. Mm -hmm. So I say I need to kick certain habits to be able to fully goddamn capitalize off the opportunity and in life. So I say fuck it. I I literally woke up one morning and because I used to smoke hookah too. I had a hookah next to my bed, mm -hmm. bottle of Hennessy over there. Yeah, ashes and shit. Black and mild ashes. The whole I'm yeah. talking about. I used to smoke black and miles. I used to smoke cigarettes. Were I used your lips to smoke black? Weed. Yeah, I used to do all. Well, no, did you lips? Yeah, I had the black. Yeah, I used to. What I'm trying to tell you, I used yeah. to smoke cigarettes, black and miles, weed, hookah, and drink. God damn. What I'm trying to tell Have you. Have you had a scan of your lungs? <laughs> so and, and it wasn't no like people be thinking like oh did you have like a something medical happen and it just scared, scared, like you thought this yeah. something like and I was like no nah, I literally woke up one day with a hung with a hangover and I had to go film and I was like man I, I I'm finna I'm finna stop like I'm finna stop this shit because mm -hmm. I want to be I want to be like my best version of myself mm -hmm. so I literally got and that's why I say it was that was you know God be killing ox for me so that was like really God. Like the liquor and the hookah yeah. and all that was ops. God how, killed my how ops. How long did it take you to kick the nicotine habit? The hard. same. I woke up, literally on God, on everything I love. I and woke you didn't up, touch it. threw the hookah away, threw the liquor away, threw everything away, and I ain't touch it no more. Okay. On my mama, like that. Why I said it was God. That shit wasn't me. That was like my higher power came into me. And, and, and what about and took changing your diet? Shit, I went to the vitamin lady in Atlanta and she gave me a blood type diet. So she say, this is the stuff that's good for your blood type. This is the stuff that's bad for your blood type. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I now love you it. How the winos asked me to get the vitamin lady down here to yeah, Miami. Yeah, I, 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 I had, I had, I loved it. My, uh, and that's a good person to interview. So I loved it. Stuff, the stuff that I loved it the most is was the stuff that was the worst for my blood type. And it was like, okay. I got to, I got to, like, I'm a strong minded person. So when I put my mind to something, I'm going to do it. So then I say, damn, when I, when I got on my, when I got like really in my workout bag is when I got my teeth done. And then I got my teeth done and I say, fuck it, I'm going to get fine. Like I, I, I looked at my smile and I'm like, damn, I'm handsome. Let me get fine as fuck with my handsome bum. So then when I start working out, I start uh, eating right, seeing the vitamin lady. She gave me my, 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 my blood type is B. So she gave me a list of everything that's bad for my blood. And, it, and that helps control your blood pressure and, okay. and all of that. Uh, what you call it? Um, cholesterol. That cholesterol shit. and all of that. You know, all of that type of shit. Diabetes, the, yeah. Diabetes and all of that. So she helped me. Um, she gave me that. I've been sticking to it. Then at that same time, so I said, okay, I'm going to stop fucking raw. I'm going to stop. <laughs> just, no, because I went to I, the it's, doctor. It's very rare that I meet people that, uh, that you know, just had the same personality as me. No, I went to the it's doctor. It's like you be real serious and then you be like. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I what went happened? to the doctor. Okay. No, I went to the doctor because I had to have eye surgery. Like, I had surgery on my eye. They had to replace my lens because the lens that I got put in from when I got shot really kind of like yeah. got old. So they had to replace my lens. But when they replaced it, my lens, I just got a, like a full, you know, full checkup. Because I haven't, I ain't had nothing been to the doctor in a while to get no checkup. So I had got a full checkup. For STDs and diseases and my heart and my cholesterol, the whole nine yards. And it was like, damn, I'm a clean nigga. I done did all this dirt. I done fucked all these bitches, half of them, raw, half of them, scrapped up. And God damn it, God just, God been killing my ops from day one all the way still to this day. So I said, you know what? I got to show my appreciation to the most high by changing up my Behaviors, okay. I ain't fucking raw no more like that. You feel me? Don't get it twisted. It's it's a it's very some teeny bit few. Like I can count on less than one hand that done got hit raw. You understand what I'm saying? But I ain't hitting raw like I used to hit raw. Okay. I'm scrapping up pretty much on everything. And I used to be weak. I used to be tender dick. When I get between there and I go to rubbing it, I don't even rub it on because. Like, I used to rub it on it raw. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even rub it on it wrong because you could catch some shit rubbing it on it wrong. You sure can. So I used to be rubbing it on it wrong, and I stopped that shit. Mm. If I'm gonna rub it on it, I put it, I put a rub on. Mm. You understand? Before I even rub That's it why up they call on it. A rubber. Exactly, so yeah. you can rub it on there. Yes, exactly. You got to put the rubber on to rub it on there. You know, I interviewed so, a girl a couple of weeks ago who was linked to a lot of celebrities in Hollywood that was, you know, messing around when I'm talking about, I'm talking about big name celebrities, and she had full blown AIDS for ten years and didn't know it. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. And oh, you know yeah. what? To speak about AIDS, if you notice, know AIDS ain't even your thing no more. It's out here. No, it's out here. When I say it's not a thing no more. It's not publicized no more, yeah. like how it used to be. Like hey, mm-hmm. you, don't, you don't hear nothing about it no more. And I think that's what got everybody so comfortable with running around fucking raw. Because I think they think that it's a cure now. No, there's no cure. The CDC literally just put out a report not too long ago and said that HIV infections, amongst other diseases like chlamydia, gonorrhea, and stuff like that, are on the rise by 27%. Mm. People are catching it more now. Than they did then. Yeah, and I think it's that because maybe they stopped around. putting education into it. Because remember, they was, putting, they was putting education in it no, everywhere. No, because that, and that's why they making sex and homosexuality and all of that so much in the forefront. People probably catching AIDS and running around this bitch sick as fucking don't even know it. That's why I don't hit raw. I don't even rub it on it. Yeah. Like, straight up and down. And really, that's why I'm about to get in a relationship. Like, I'm in a process of, like, just scouting for, like, the perfect girl. Mm. Not the perfect girl, yeah. but what I feel like perfect. Because even, a, even a, a, a woman can have imperfections and still be perfect. So what, what, what are you looking for? Like, name some qualifications that you need. I'm looking for love okay. in all the wrong places. <laughs> Well, give me some of the qualities that you need in a woman. Well, she got to have a big personality. Like, okay. Because I, I don't need nobody. Chelsea does fit that bill. I don't so. need no boring girl. I need somebody who could be goofy with me because we might be okay. a YouTube couple. Okay. <laughs> she got to be independent. Okay. She got to be uh, down to earth okay. and very humble. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, 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 has to, she has to have a story. Okay. Because I don't want nobody that ain't been through nothing. Mm. Because then you don't know how to appreciate nothing. She got to be grateful. Not necessarily. Shit. <laughs> Not necessarily. Shit. You got people that come from good homes, ain't never been through nothing. But if they, but I think they, if they're but well even, even, traveled, even if you can't, even though, even if you came from a good home, you still been through something. Yeah, I mean. It don't got to be been through nothing bad. Okay. You been through something. You been challenged in life. Exactly. Uh-huh. You've been through something. Even the good people in life, like, they, they been through something. Certain people, it might be a good person that been through some good person shit, mm-hmm. but you still been through something that that um makes you who you are. Okay. In a, in, a, in a good way. Or something that molded you into the person that you, the good person that you are. And what else? So, uh, you got to have that. You got to have some good pussy in here. The pussy in here so got to be new, slapping. You're, you're not in the business of teaching. I mean, I mean, I could teach you a little piece, but I mean, I, for the most part, I want that shit to be smacking off the grip. Oh, so you want somebody experienced? Yeah, you gotta have a little hoe in you. Okay. Like, 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 you gotta have a little. Okay. A little bit of hoe. I mean, you just said it. A hoe, not a little hoe, hoe. A little hoe in you. Okay. But you ain't no hoe no more. Okay. Like you done had a hoe run. Okay. Like you had a hoe phase. Okay. And that's where you got your experience at. I tell everyone, every you know, and men love hoes. Yeah. You know, hoes. All they, my exes was hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of women don't want to admit that they hoes. All my ex, <laughs> hey, hey, or shout used out to, to be hoes. Shout out to all my ex wanna, hoes. Want to be hoes, you know what I'm saying? All my Listen, exes was hoes. Everybody has that desire because you want to learn, you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. not going to get what you need from from watching porn and things like that. You got to get out there and you got to test the water for yeah. you and for, for, the, for your partner, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you learn so many things. And I want my woman to be like... Um, I want her to be. I want her to be like you know on her healthy shit too. Like I wanna. I wanna be no, able to Chelsea, work out. Uh, Chelsea uh, doesn't. Yeah, no, nah, I, I. But she yeah. ain't gotta have that. Certain things I won't. Comp- <laughs> look, like, certain things I won't. Comp- <laughs> look, certain things I won't compromise. But I'll compromise that because I can get her into uh, into that. Uh, listen, listen, I can get my baby, baby Chelsea. If you're listening right now, baby, 
I'm going to get you in that gym early. Listen, I'm going to work you out, Chelsea. To, she got upset last night because I took her to a Mediterranean restaurant. I'm going to work like, you out. It's full, and then she was like, oh, my God, it actually tastes good. I'm like, Chelsea, she's McDonald's yeah, no, every a, day and no, Chinese food. I'm going to open my baby up. You ain't got to worry about okay, that. Girl, I got you. Up. I'm going to open her up. You got to get a line now. So you know. Yeah, she got to be She got to be a nice-looking woman, too. And that's, okay. you know, I ain't asking for much. As long as you loyal, you faithful, 100, and you got some of them good distinguishing qualities that I like, then... Mm-hmm. You know, you could be the girl for me. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Well, mm-hmm. so you're going you're gonna to give us this verse away. I got to pee. Oh, the winos is going. So you ain't going to rap for them. I'm going to rap, but I got all this water in me. I got to pee. I'll be all in my pee. Go ahead, use bathroom. And I'm coming right back here. I'm coming right back here. With okay, cool. Got he, going to the, he going to the bathroom to practice real quick. Oh, this way. Go this way. Go out that door that you came through. Okay, you ready? So, so, come on. Okay, all right. You want Let's me to do this freestyle? Yes. Like, right. I got you on this freestyle. And see, since you talk about I had to go to the bathroom and practice, yes. this ain't what I do. So, I'm going to show up. Go ahead. So, since you say, okay, I went to the bathroom to practice, right? Yes. <laughs> I which I don't like... do. No, which I don't do because <laughs> it's a freestyle. I just freestyle. So, since you think I went to the bathroom and practice, I'm going to let you tell me what you want me to freestyle about. Okay, that's the that's So that way it ain't no practice. Okay. You know I got to come off the dome, mm-hmm. right here, acapella. I'm going to give you probably about okay, four, five, do, six do a, balls. Do a rap for Chelsea. Mm. Shoot a shot. Ooh. <laughs> We're playing a love connection. <laughs> okay. Chelsea, you so fine. When you FaceTime me, you still been on a nigga mind. You be on my mind when I be out on my grind. I think about your ass all the motherfucking time. Literally, I want to be behind. (laughs) Bring you in this room. Pull you up some wine. (laughs) Buy you a new watch so you can properly tell the time. (laughs) I want to see you shine. Chelsea, will you be mine? Oh, so yeah, you know we're gonna put this little clip out right here. Now. We're gonna, this is gonna be the trailer. So yeah, Chelsea, will you be mine? <laughs> no, nah, but y'all really, y'all have got to follow Chaotic on all platforms. Okay, it's Chaotic three hundred five. Chaotic with a K, K H A O T I C. Yeah, three hundred five everywhere. And I, I love that you came through all the way transparent. You were educational. Yeah. I want to see more people in the hip hop industry be educational, not waiting until you're 40, 50, 60 right. to, to, to give or drop information. Do it now while you're still on the grind. Like drop jewels while you moving. Yeah, like I hate that. You got to drop the jewels while you relevant. Right. Not don't wait! Reason. Don't wait till you already rich and nobody ain't checking for you no yeah. more. And now you want to drop Jews like nigga. Like, what you was, was you influential at? ten years ago. Why you ain't say that shit when you was exactly. at your peak? So exactly. Yeah, it's it's definitely best that you give out that influential shit while you got while you got the voice. Why you got not even while you got the voice. Why you got the ears. Why people right. listening to you? Right. Drop them Jews. So I'm gonna forever drop Jews whenever I whenever, whenever I step on the platform. I'm gonna drop them. But you know. I appreciate you for having me here. Oh, anytime. And sharing this nice white table with me. It was my pleasure. This was white table talk. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not red table talk. This was white table talk. Like the Caucasians, like the white people Uh with a black effect. The Caucasians is from the Caucasus Mountains. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, listen. For real. I know they are. (laughs) The Caucasus Mountains is by Africa. I, they're from listen we gave birth to them that's a whole other conversation yeah come on now okay listen, come on now. thank you thank You're you welcome. thank you chaotic oh, it was such a pleasure um i'm definitely gonna be following you gonna be watching you thank mm-hmm. you for sharing your story and um, we gonna double back because yeah. we didn't cover all grounds anyway no, we got more stuff to talk no, about no. i got a lot of stuff that's coming out yeah that's gonna be dropping that um, I'm gonna tap in with, so we probably be, okay. we probably do up. We gonna I do up. I forgot to days. ask you about Boosie. What the hell going on with you and Lil Boosie? Uh, what happened with me and Boosie? Oh, you tell me. Y'all ain't been beefing. No. Okay. That's somebody else. Wrong rapper. Yeah, Listen. me and Boosie. Me and Boosie right. ain't got no beef. Boosie, okay. my boy. Okay, cool. I'm trying to think. You made me think. I ain't got no beef with Boosie. I don't know. I thought we had found that on the internet. Let me see. No, not me see. and Boosie. You know, we I was just at Boosie prom. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? 
Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, Boosie, my boy. All right. Well, listen. I just cool. watched the Water Boys movie. Matter of fact, y'all go watch Boosie movie, Water Boys. Okay. On his on his page, <laughs> his 1400 <laughs> page, shit like that. Y'all go watch my boy Boosie's new movie, okay. Water Boys. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to probably review it, too. Once I watch yeah, yeah, go watch it and review yeah. it. That'll be a good one to do. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're like welcome. I'm about to go take Chelsea on the date. I'll holler at y'all. All bye. Right. You, <laughs> all right. Go ahead and take her to the Chinese man. That's what she loves. She loves Chinese man. Oh, I'm not taking her to the Chinese man. <laughs> oh, sure. Yo, uh, team. They went to go get something. I already know that.